All right, I've clicked the button. All right, there we go. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Ah! <laughs> Nobody's here yet. Nobody's here yet. Oh, okay. There's there's the actual stream. Ah! Hello. Let me put the thing up on Twitter. All right, there's the Twitter notification. There's the Discord. All right, now let me pull up chat on my phone. And we are good to go. Hell yeah. Woohoo! All right, let me, let, me, let me get this up on my phone real quick. So that I can actually read what these people are saying. I've got everything Miss up Banshee. on my phone. Miss Banshee says, Hello, Pastra and Lyra. Family photo album was amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh boy, we're probably gonna have a lot to say about that during this. Hello everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Cuphead. I'm seeing all of you pouring in now. I'm seeing you in the chat. How are y'all doing? It's been a little over two weeks since we last streamed this. Yeah, I miss I, this game. I miss this game too. Um, let me let me actually go into our save file. I gotta remind myself which save file we had. Um. Oh, it is probably the one with, uh, where Inkwell Isle, Inkwell Isle 2, uh, Mugman, that sounds like us. Because yeah. I pick, I have to pick Mugman for our little Steam Remote Play so that it works for you. Hello, everyone in chat. You forgot to watch the new episode of DOAI. How dare you? Nah, it's fine. I don't actually care. <laughs> Just glad to have you here. Uh, let me, let me, let me, uh, set up the Remote Play now. Um... My friend, where are you? There you are. Okay. I sent you an invite for the remote play. Oh, uh, let me open Steam. Probably a good idea. Yeah, that's, pro that's probably, that's probably, you know, decent idea. Probably a good idea. I hope that my computer doesn't freeze and crash during the stream. I'm going to die if it does. Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, thank you, Winceman, for the pumpkin patch. <laughs> Welcome to the pumpkin patch. Um, how's the debt? We're ma uh, <laughs> I was I was gonna talk about that. Um, First of this we've made more progress than we expected, hi, hi. but um, we still got a ways to go. First don't of the yeah. stream, anyways. Hi hi, thank you so much, Sam. Means a lot. Also, by the way, how do I sound chat? Um, since the last stream, I've gotten a new microphone. Um, I felt prompted to get a new one after the Phil stream, because I saw how horribly I was peaking during that Hello Neighbor 2 stream. Um, my buddy, my buddy Gaming Age, y'all probably know him, uh, or at least some of you know him, um, recommended this one, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I think, I, I, I was doing some audio testing before this, and it sounds a whole lot better, I think. Um. Can you awesome. send me another invite? I yeah. feel <laughs> Yeah, sure, Oopsie. I got you. Okay. Let me get you back in here. Where are you on my friends list now? Oh, I'm glad to hear the mic sounds good at least. Uh, I I figured I figured it would be better for streaming because uh, I felt bad uh, during these streams. I get loud, and when I get loud, the old mic used to peak. Um, can we get a test shout to see how much you peak? All right, uh, Lyra, are you ready? I'm gonna do a little test shout for the chat. Yep. All right. All right. <clears throat> What? How was that, chat? <laughs> how, how was that? Did, 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 did I peek? Did I peek? I'm good. <laughs> you how didn't peek that? to me. I didn't peek for you. Damn, okay. Good lol. Okay, okay. You sound like the <laughs> What kind of a test screen was that? It was a... Hey, it was a... It was effective, right? Got the point across. All right, let me... um. Okay, so... You should be able to control Mugman now? Yeah. All right, so uh, if you you're controlling with keyboard, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, could you go back into the like overworld then? I'm gonna join it with the controller. Oh wait, e ooh ah. Why can't I control anything? Oh, did I did I not set did I not set keyboard and mouse? I didn't set keyboard and mouse. Here, one minute. Okay, there you go. You should be able to control stuff now. All right, there we go. It, there's a little bit of delay, but it's fine. We'll, okay. we'll manage. We'll manage. We we did a lot uh, last stream. 
with with the little latency problems we had. So, uh, okay, so to anyone who either missed the last Cuphead stream or needed a refresher, we beat the entirety of the first island, and um, after we did that, um, we managed to beat Beppy, we beat um, we beat Baroness Von Bonbon, bon, and we beat Jimmy the Great. Also, is the game too quiet for you guys? Um, I think the game might be the, the game sounds pretty quiet on my end. Do you guys do you guys hear that game well, or should I turn it up before we get before we get into it? Yeah, you missed quite a bit. We are gonna miss quite a bit. Uh, they, oh, shut up. Uh, sounds it sounds pretty good. The music good. It's okay right now. Okay, the game audio is good. Okay, we're good. Um, so okay, here's the question, right? Um, let's see, let's see what we have. Um, we do not have enough money to go buy anything. Oh, we could do another mausoleum and get a new super. I think we should do that. Mausoleum. <laughs> okay, that maybe. Um, I forgot what the inputs were. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. <laughs> let's jump. I I don't oh, know how to play on the controller. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm I'm a, I'm a god I'm god tier at parrying, Can't so we'll around, unfortunately. Damn. Good luck. Whoa. Yeah. Thanks a ton, uh, Quactopus. That's really appreciated. Oh damn. And thank you for sticking around for whenever you did. <laughs> all right, there we go. I have a quick question. This is actually Still way better than last time. Oh my god. Like more of Mandela catalog. That's really Dude, this. I... Oh wait. Ooh. Oh. I um. I don't- I don't know what would have changed from last stream. I have a theory. A okay. game theory, if you will. Alright, also I'll read- when I'll read your super chat in a minute, by the way. I- I didn't- when, I did not miss you. When we- when we started remote play, uh, there is a screen that popped up, that it always popped up when we started remote playing, and in the top right of it, there were quality settings, and I had mine set to, um, like, really high. And not to like fast. Oh. I didn't know that there was quality and latency settings on my side. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Also, here I'm gonna read that super chat. Um, I have a quick question: Is DOAI meant to be something like a Walton Files like ARG or more of Mandela catalog? Uh, both. It's. It, it, I, I took inspiration from both franchises whenever I made DOAI. It's kind of its own <laughs> thing. It's kind of hard to say that it's exactly Cuphead one of the cute, two. But have you played Pizza Tower? Oh, oh, Ooh. David, I have not played Pizza Tower, but that was something I was saving for another stream, actually, sometime. Um, it sounds fun. I, I really love platformers and shit like that. I've never even seen gameplay of Pizza Tower. I just know that it's a platform and it looks goofy, so... I remember um, when I was on stream with Phil playing Hello Neighbor 2, uh, we were talking about Pizza Tower, and he straight up thinks it's a better, like, physics-based platformer than Sonic Mania. Oh, I, mm, I'm gonna have to play that then, because I that is a strong claim to make. That's what I said! <laughs> like, word for like, word, I'm, I'm water, not gonna, that's what I I'm said. Not gonna, I'm not gonna deny him, but I would also need to, like, play that, because th that's interesting. Yeah, right? Also, here, let me, uh... So we have, we have, um, Wally Warbles. Do we have any other bosses that, uh, we're able to do right now? We've got a run Uh, uh that's We have nice the tower. dragon, don't we? Oh! Oh, Lyra, that dragon's gonna fuck us up. Yep. Oh, that dragon's I gonna know fuck it. us up. As I placed my order for Paris Bond B, let's go! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh, what do we right. wanna do? Okay, um, so... From how it looks right now, we have a choice between the run and gun. We have a choice between two run and guns. Um, Wally Warbles and the dragon. Oh, uh, the dragon's gonna fuck us up so bad. Do you think we should? Do you think we should do? Um, do you think we should do a run and gun first? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should do a run and gun first. Get some That's, money. It's gonna be horrible, but we'll, want, we'll manage. I want the roundabout for uh, the dragon. Haha, <laughs> silly head! You don't even have the roundabout. Oh, piss off! I was busy investigating <laughs> important things for us last time. Okay, wait, I gotta remember what the, uh... What's the... Fuck. Okay, that was the dash bot. Ah! What in the actual hell? Oh my god. <laughs> this is one of the harder running guns. Ah! 
Okay, I got a coin. We're okay. Are yeah, you... oh, we're already we dead. dead. Okay. Um. Ah! My God. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna be here for a little bit. But we're, yeah, but it, 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 me when I. Don't shoot the balloons. Okay, well noted. It's Linkman. <laughs> okay. Ah! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're f oh, this is gonna Where? be a long stream. This is gonna be a long stream. Uh, ah! Okay, okay, we're okay. We're okay. Run. Oh. All right, all right. Oh my all right. god. We just oh need my to god. Just the balloons. Okay. Day two of the uh. Island Bird X Jumbo Josh Hart. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. So we just got we just got two super chats, Lyra. One was a fifty dollar donation from Mercer Holt. Thank um, you so much, yeah. Mercer. Yeah. So my brain has been trying to figure so out why to figure more out horror games aren't based on lighthouses. Aren't it's a perfect setting. House. I know, right? No one lives under the lighthouse was awesome. It was so cool. And I feel like the setting really added to that game as well as just the way it played into it with its visual style. I genuinely want to play through that game again. I loved it. Um, day two of my Opila Bird X Jumbo Josh Hart. You are a freak. Thank you for your donation, though. Oh. Did you? Me when I. How did you do that? <laughs> well, I don't know now. I'm fucking dead. Oh. Okay, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay, this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. Come on, Zach. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe this, in you. This is not that bad. See? See? Easy mode. Easy, Scoss. Okay. Okay. Based in, based, based in Funfair Pilled. All right, I killed him. I've committed murder. That's not new though. Oh, wait, can I just, oh, he can still attack <laughs> me. Okay, that's good to know. Uh <laughs> that was so sad. Have you read any of the Bindi novels? What is my, they have so much lore what is my, into the game. oh, it's this. I have okay. not actually read any of the Bendy novels, surprisingly. Um. And I, I blame that on the fact that, um, you see, like, I don't know if anyone in the chat can relate, but, um, my freaking ADHD Man. makes it so that I have a horrible attention span for reading novels. Like, I have this thing I do when I read books that, like, make it so hard for me to, like, sit down and read a book for a long period of time where I'll, like, I'll be, like, reading the page and, like, Oh my god, I'll this be... is terrible. This is a terrible run. Like, I'll be sitting there staring at the words on the page. But I literally won't process any of them, and then I'll be like, Oh shit, wait, I didn't read any of that. So then I'll go no. back to actually focus on reading. Oh then my I'll god, be, that was smooth. Then I'll be focusing so hard on reading that I won't actually read what's there because I'm thinking too much about the fact that I should be reading. And then I don't read anything, and then I give up because it's annoying. It's a long story short, <laughs> no, I haven't read the novels. Oh fuck! God, this is fucking fun! <laughs> this is so much more fun when it's not constantly lagging at like one frame per second. Yeah, it must be a whole lot better when you can- I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you need to read them though, one gives major context to the lore that explains the backstory of one of the characters from the game. I mean, I guess I could read them. Why would you stuff so, like, a central lore into a novel? Just put it in the fucking game. I was gonna say, like, if that lore was so important, it would be in the games. And I mean, like... I, I, I hate the trend of, like, novelized lore. Like, dude, just put it in the fucking game. You're a game franchise. I think, like... I think, too, like, when it comes to Bendy, I feel like I have a good enough grasp of Bendy's lore that, like... I just feel like there's nothing that the books add that I care enough to learn because, like, I feel like there isn't any, like, major stuff I missed uh, out on. Benny and the Dark Revival was pretty coherent. <laughs> Donating before I have to go to work. Dude, uh, is it gonna come over here. here. Oh, it moves with me. I thought it just cycled between the two of us. Uh, also, I'll, 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 uh, I'll see what your super chat's in. Sorry. Um, I'm having a hard time focusing on what the super chat text of speech is saying because I'm uh, focusing on not getting murdered brutally. I don't. Pastor, use the smoke bomb. 
I would, but that's kind of one of the reasons we're here is so that I can get the money to buy things like the smoke bomb. Lyra's the one who purchased it. Oops. You got that point. Ah! How would you do this pass? I guess the smoke bomb would make it so you could do this pacifist. Oh, I am dead. Oh! It's up to uh, you. Uh, 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 it's up uh, to uh, you, buddy. Pfft. Oh, well. I was not expecting this. Donating before I have to go to work. Have fun with the stream, you two. If you guys P rank perilous peers, you have my sympathy. Love the new DOAI pastor. Thank you, and I don't think we're insane enough to try another pacifist. We were yeah, purely doing that for money. Thank you so much, though. Yeah, if somebody that's... offered to donate a hundred if we, if, like, pacifist perilous peer, then maybe I would try. <laughs> Lyra over here like, oh, you, you know, you guys don't, you guys don't have to do that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Like... No, I'm saying that I would only do it for that much money because I wouldn't be insane enough to try it otherwise. I know, the game called us clown. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we are gonna- Oh, oh God! <laughs> Okay, okay, we're at the easier part. I think- I think the trampoline is the hardest part so far. I don't know, that section with all the little goobers that gun you is pretty hard. Nah, I don't think that's as bad. That one's more simple platforming, I find, compared to the friggin' balloons. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you say as you're, like, scared half to death. Yeah, but I dodged it. True. Oh! That's Magic. funny. Oh, I can- okay. I would go back for you, but I would die. You and I both know I would die. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Wait for that platform to come up. Don't make the same mistake as last time. See, look, we're learning. Chat, we're learning. We're learn- we're learning. Yeah, okay. <sighs> oh! Oh no! Why'd you go right into Lakeman? Because I panicked! <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what are y'all's pronouns? Uh, Freaking du Herbert. Ducklin just asked, Ow. Uh, out of curiosity, what are y'all's pronouns? Uh, my my um, pronouns are he, they. My pronouns are she, her, or they, them. Uh, stop. You are having fun on that thing, aren't you? <laughs> I sure am. Well, that's unfortunate. That, that's a botch run right there. Nah, I mean, don't worry. Watch this. Watch this. I solo. You solo. You solo. Watch this. Watch this. You are going to be blown away by this. <laughs> you have never seen anyone as good as Cuphead as me. Uh, you know I know hit absolute radiance on on uh, on, on Hollow Knight. You know that, 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 those skills are transferable. So th this is just a pushover compared to what to, compared to the shit I've seen. This is nothing. I still love that comment. <laughs> that is my favorite comment I've ever seen for like one of these. You see, this is this is gonna be kind of a pushover of a stream, guys. Yeah, I remember, um, to those of you who don't have context, uh, when I was doing- when Lyra and I were doing the last Cuphead stream, um, I had announced it on my community tab, and I got this one comment that was like, Uh, Pastra no hit absolute radiance. Cuphead's gonna be a joke for him. Please, please die quicker. I think he specifically used the verbiage of it being a pushover, which I think is hilarious. Yeah, he specifically called it a pushover. Which, like, you know, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate the confidence in my skill, but, uh, that happened. <laughs> I appreciate the confidence of my skill, but... I, yeah, I, I appreciate the fact that you, uh, like, y'all have confidence in me, but, um, sometimes I feel it's a little bit misplaced. Yeah, I got murdered by a hot dog. Got murdered by a wiener. Please don't put it like that. <laughs> yes. Got murdered by the glizzy. <laughs> no! Have you listened to any songs by Creature Feature? Creature Feature is like one of my favorite bands. It's right up there with uh, some of my other favorites. 
Can these balloons just not exist ever again? Can find out what it does to PPL out of the cycle. No, no, please. I hate please. This. Me when I saw. <laughs> Aw. We find out what ink what ink does to people out of the cycle. <laughs> okay, but like, is that really important? Why would they not put that in the game? Yeah, like, first of all, is that really important? And if the answer to that is yes, then it's stupid that's not in the game. Like, I'm gonna be real. Like, I'm not- I'm not gonna read books to understand game lore. I tried doing that with Five Nights at Freddy's, and I hated every second of it after the Silver Eyes. Oh, God. Ugh. And before I hear any of that stuff like, oh, FNAF's questionably canon books, like, yeah, those questionably canon books that allowed MatPat to predict the story of Sister Location. Pink Balloon is parryable. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm just too scared to. The Pink Balloon's intimidating, man. Alright. Wow. I was just about to say wow. that at this part I need you for later. Well, you got your wish. I'm here. Hi. Ah! God damn it! I guess not. <laughs> okay, we're managing. The absolute irony of my death sometimes is fucking hilarious. I feel like just, there's just a I'm golden here. rule where you and I always die with comedic timing in this game. Yeah. Alright. Got the moolah. I don't know why I tried to jump over it. It was just oh. over my head. All right, this guy dies. All right, all right. Ah ha! Okay, uh. I love that little call? sound he makes. I love little him too. Little fucking goober over here. All right, kill this pretzel. This it pretzel is... makes me uncomfortable. This pretzel looks like it Why? was drawn. His teeth look like it was drawn the way I draw teeth. You know what? You have a point. That's a- that's a pastra pretzel. The pretzel spec. The pretzel spec in an alternate timeline, where one of my scrapped mascots was Clyde, and for some reason, to me, the culmination of, like, all of my scrapped concepts was a pretzel with teeth. Speaking of Clyde, I'm so excited for you know what. You and me both. You and me both. You have no idea the face I made when you sent me that. People yes! In the, people Solo! in the chat don't know Solo! what they're, uh... People in the chat don't know what we're talking about, but they're gonna lose their shit when they find out. <laughs> Draw that pretzel off to the stream, I dare you. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? The pretzel spec. Uh, oh, what shoot. Are your... This is perfect timing because my food is approaching. <laughs> Oh, sick. Uh, while you go get you all, while uh, you get ready for your food, I got a question in chat that I want to answer because it's one that I really like. Um, top six favorite Batman villains. I have the answer to this. I have the answer to this. I have a top ten favorite Batman villains. Um, I'm gonna try and remember. I'm gonna try and remember the order. Um, I'm gonna try and remember the order. But, Show your um, to your audience by I'm gonna to just Somehow. just know that it may it may be inaccurate. Way. So. So, um, my favorite Batman villain is Scarecrow, obviously. Um, my second favorite is Man Bat. My third favorite is Firefly. Um, I like the underrated ones. Um, fourth favorite is Killer Croc. Sixth and, uh, fifth favorite. Fifth favorite is probably... Mm -hmm. Who the hell's Firefly? If you don't know who Firefly is, get the hell out of my chat. Killer Moth, Killer Moth, thank you, thank you, Boopus. Killer Moth, Killer Moth is number five, and then number six is probably um probably a toss up between Bane, Mr. Freeze, or um Bane, Mr. Freeze, or uh why am I blanking on the other one? Ah, Professor Pig. If y'all don't know, if y'all don't know who some of those characters are. Get, get out of my stream and educate yourself. Firefly is an awesome villain and deserves way more attention than uh, he gets. Um, I love Firefly. What about the Joker? The, the Joker's the Joker's in my top ten, but I think the Joker's overrated. Um, um, 
Firefly is awesome. To those of you who don't know in chat who Firefly is, Firefly's like whole thing is that he's a friggin' arsonist who's literally like infatuated by fire. Um, in like in like some of his comics, like in one of his comics, there was literally a uh, whole thing where he literally, when he lights things on fire, he sees like these dancing angels in the fire and he loves watching them dance. So he lights things ablaze just to sit and watch it happen. He's absolutely insane. I guess insane. you could say he has the hots for it. Lyra. <laughs> I know, um, there's also a, uh, so Pyro TF2, uh, Pyro TF2, but he is fully aware that he's burning people alive, and he likes burning people alive because he thinks it's pretty looking. Um, Real. There's, there's like, there's this one comment or this one comic I read that I really love. Um, it was, it was like a more modern one called Batgirl Year One, um, and it was all about like, um, it was all about like how Batgirl became Batgirl, and in the comic, the main villain is both uh, Killer Moth and Firefly. And there's this really funny dynamic that gets introduced because Killer Moth starts working with Firefly because nobody takes him seriously. But Killer Moth, um, to those of you who are unaware of who he is or, you know, like need a refresher on him, he is not cut out to be a supervillain. He's just some guy in a costume who thinks being a villain is cool. Um, so he <laughs> hires Firefly to try and scare people, but Please Firefly is like an actual maniac. So there's just this one comic book panel also that I love between the two of them where, um, Firefly is just like lighting people on fire and Killer Moth is just like, please, no way, you were, you were just supposed to scare them. And he says in the most like chilling voice, just, they are afraid. And that's just their dynamic for the whole comic. I'll say, we got another super chat from Bomberman. Pastor, I'll give you $200 if you P rank a level. Also draw no Pila Bird X Jumbo Josh Art. It's oh, okay, you do not, you do not need to do that. And um, no. Thank you for your super chat, though. Um, also, we got Benny Boy. Um, show your dominance to your audience by dying in the tutorial somehow. Love your art, by the way. Um, I would, but we've got a debt to pay. So, unfortunately. Uh, Red Hood, please? Ah, I don't consider Red Hood a villain. I, I, really, I really don't consider Red Hood a villain. Oh my god, this spawn me is so good. I can tell, I can hear you chowing down on it. Wait, why can't I move? Oh, there we go. Because you weren't touching the keyboard. I was! I don't believe you. Well, you can choose to believe what you want. Alright, let's see here. Um, okay, wait, did I- Okay, I did just buy the what roundabout. I literally just clicked A. Like, without thinking, and I thought I just lost my opportunity to have that. Um... Oh. What the hell is coverage? What's what? Coverage? What the hell is that? Coverage? The one on the left. The oh, left. that's that's a new one that was added in the DLC. Oh! Converge, I'm fucking dyslexic. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it, it's one of the- they added a couple new, um, shot types in the DLC. They're all pretty cool. That's awesome. I yeah, have we, five. Which one do you think I should get? Hmm. <laughs> oh, we've got another super chat here. We got, we got a couple. I'm just gonna let them roll by first. Um, content huge love from Scotland. Love your videos. Keep up the- keep up the great content. You love, huge love from Scotland. Thank you, Noise Tank. That's awesome of you. Just Scott left forever. Huge inspiration for me. Also, if you ever return to Bloodborne, would you play the old hunters DLC? Absolutely, I love Bloodborne. Um, maybe a bit of a hot take when it comes to Bloodborne <laughs> stuff. Um, oh hey Ezra. This message crying. Ezra. Yeah, Ezra just super chatted five dollars. Don't have a quip to put in this message crying emoji. <laughs> Thank you, Ezra. Um. But I don't know if this is a this is a hot take for Bloodborne fans, but my favorite boss in Bloodborne is Lawrence the First Vicar. I always thought that thing from the DLC was awesome. I know, I know, it's I know it's just a reskin of the cleric beast, but it's a cool reskin that has cool music and it's actually like a unique fight design, like uh, game design wise. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna. 
Should I get the lobber? Because we're, we're gonna be fighting... We're gonna be fighting, um, the dragon. I feel oh, like... we should probably both get lobber then. Yeah, I think... But the charge shot's also my favorite in the game. What if one of us got charge and one of us got lobber for the dragon? I'll get charge, you get lobber. I love the charge shot. Got it. Alright, that's all my money. Crack shot. <laughs> Crack shot. Yeah. <laughs> fucking game. Yeah, this, th it's actually a pretty cool one. It, it like breaks through projectiles. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, aside from Kings of Fear, what is your favorite Batman comic slash graphic novel storyline? Okay, so here's the thing, right? Kings of Fear may be my favorite, um, like Scarecrow storyline. And it probably is my favorite Batman storyline. But it's it's hardest competition, and what I consider to probably be one of, if not the best, Batman storyline that anyone has to read. Read Nightfall. Read Nightfall, please. Please read Nightfall. Nightfall is the best. Nightfall is so good. It has no right being as good as it is. You get so much good representation from all of Batman's villains. You get fantastic stuff with Bane. It's the introduction to him. And just like, every everyone is written so fantastically in Nightfall. If you are a Batman fan and you're trying to get into the comics, read Nightfall. And then super... Where do I get Nightfall Pastor? I don't know, comic book store, Amazon, wherever the hell you buy stuff. It just, whatever means you have to get it. Read Nightfall. All right, Let, let's try this dragon. I think this dragon's gonna kick our asses, not gonna lie, but who knows, maybe I'll be wrong. Alright, alright, let's go. Okay, we should... Yeah! Okay. I remember, uh, every single time I've played multiplayer, this dragon is always the thing that, like, gets me stuck for a bit. Oh, whoa! Okay. Alright, we're, we're okay, we're okay. Forgot about that shit. Okay. This is the phase that I hate. Because these little whoa. fireball oh. dudes, they feel like- I know there's a pattern to how they jump. I know it's based on the platform you're standing on, but they feel random. Oh, damn it. Okay, I, I, I was trying to read the chat and I realized that was a really bad idea. I should not be reading yeah, the chat during this. Why? Oh, because damn. I want to be no, interacting with the audience, Lyra! Uh. No! Say! I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh my god, the clutch. Don't ask, don't ask how I even managed to do that, I don't know. And I am dead. No, that was, wait, that was no! not a parry. That was not a parry. <laughs> I missed the wrong button. <laughs> I think you did everything there but parry. A miss input. There's a miss input! Miss input! <laughs> What's the worst Batman? I don't know. I don't read bad ones. Oh. Player two dies, then is removed. They rejoin. They live. <laughs> oh damn! My shit lag. That's not good. My shit lag for like one second. Oh my god. Okay. Right about. Oh god, okay. I, I I keep standing still when the fire comes up, even though I know for a fact that it's gonna hit me. I keep like focusing I get like tunnel vision on this phase. Not letting you die. I can't solo this. I don't think either of us can. Oh that's not even gonna hit him! 
Why? No. No. And you're gonna die. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Let me read chat. Um. You know, I love it. I love it whenever I check chat and I just see like the most oddly specific questions. Like I just got asked in chat if I like B1 battle droids from Star Wars. <laughs> sure, yeah. Do you? Yeah, they are right. They're right. I just I just love it whenever I get like the most specific questions I've ever seen in my life. I always find those so funny. Uh let me see. Where is my pop-up? Did you, uh... Player 2 I'm dies so and is removed. They rejoin, they live. Oh, we're not gonna do that. That's boring. I'm I'm so afraid of, uh, when John Paradise finds out we're streaming. We ain't gonna return from that. We ain't gonna survive. Do you like any of the new Star Wars movies? No. 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 <laughs> No, not really. The only one I kind of liked was Rogue One. I actually really liked Rogue One. And I... then... But, like, all of the actual sequel trilogy movies sucked. Yeah, the only one that was decent was The Force Awakens, and it was only decent because it kind of just plagiarized the <laughs> A New Hope. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard to mess the movie up when you just copy the plot of an already existing movie that was really good. But no, I don't really like the new Star Wars movies. And I think most of the new Star Wars shows are also pretty <laughs> terrible. Except for Mandalorian. And Andor. Mandalorian and Andor are both great shows. Everything else is kind of ass. No! Oh. The new Obi-Wan Kenobi was actually kind of so bad it hurt me. And Boba Fett was more of a joke show than it was serious. Which, Which somehow... sucks because Boba Fett is an awesome character. Yeah, Boba Fett is badass, and yet in the show he's played up more for laughs when he's the main character than like Mandalorian. You don't like Bad I Batch? Just, uh... Although, I was talking about the more like live action shows. Bad Batch is pretty alright. Although Wait, that, no! Although that one kid they introduced in the Bad Batch is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Like I is I don't know if people share my opinion on this, but uh, what's her name? Omega in the Bad Batch is the most insufferable character I've seen in a long time. <laughs> so yeah, uh. Omega should have been the main character in his own show. Also, also Ezra sent another dollar. Thank you, Ezra. Thank you, Ezra. Uh. Why are they talking about Star Wars? Why are they because doing somebody that? somebody asked. Why are they talking about Star Wars when the chat's asking them Star Wars questions? That makes no sense. They're playing Cuphead right now. Uh, uh, They're playing Cuphead, so they should only be talking about Cuphead right now. Question was so stupid that it actually threw me off my groove. <laughs> I'm dead. No, you're not. I got you. Wait, what? Oh my god! How? Lyra, this game's a pushover. I know his absolute <laughs> radiance. <coughs> Holy shit. They call me the god gamer. <laughs> what can I say? They call you- Wow. I, okay, they call I, can't, you I can't say that there, though. They call you Swagstra Spec. They do, they do. That's what they called me in high school. I remember during the Gloomwood stream that him and I did, I annoyed the ever-living hell out of Dags because that was the only joke I made was X thing was what they called me in high school. I also just annoyed Dags because I was really bad at the game, but... <laughs> Fair. God, I... I remember... Um... I... When I was, uh... Younger, this is this is an odd thing to be telling people on stream. When I was younger, because I'm on the spectrum, I didn't necessarily know how to take out my anger. And I remember also that I didn't want to physically damage, like any of uh, 
my belongings because, you know, I, I cherish them. So oftentimes, when I was, like, really angry, I would just punch myself instead. Um, oh. Got you. But there was one time where I was playing the boss, this boss, in Cuphead in 2017, and I beat it, and right as I beat it, I died. Like, on... Like, he was literally dying in that moment, and I would have beat it, but I died at that exact moment. And I remember, I didn't want to scream or punch anything, so I just bit myself in the arm. <laughs> oh my god! Like... <laughs> It was the funniest shit, too, because it was, like, really, really hard, and I don't even... Like, I remember thinking afterwards, why did I do that? But I was just so angry at Cuphead. Got so angry that you started biting yourself. Like, you just saw red. No, like, I just, like... It was literally like I chomped myself in the arm. Clamped onto that shit like an alligator. My god! It was funny. I can Ash, imagine. Childhood stories. Yeah. Bro got childhood hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Bro got hungry. True. <laughs> Sometimes you have a silly, you have a silly moment when you're on the spectrum. You know, you get you get little silly moments. Thankfully, I've stopped doing that. I was gonna say, do you still do that? No. <laughs> Like, were there no, times while we were playing the other day that you were, like, biting yourself and I didn't know? No, no, I, I think I only ever really, like, legitimately did that once. Plus, you're alive. Oh. I don't even know how I saved you there. I thought for sure you were off screen. Yeah, I was, I was confused. No! Well, I can't save you that time. Fuck. Okay. Okay, don't, die, don't, die, don't, die, don't, die, don't 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 it was a little- no, it was not a little flame boy! He went over me! I think I got hit by the steam from his nose! How- like, what?! It was not the little guy. I am guy. baffled. <laughs> oh, I am baffled. Chat. Happy you're streaming oh? with Lyra right now. Mm -hmm. Have to put my memberships on pause, since I'm having to focus on bills and getting a place for me and so, sorry. Figuring out how to adult is stressful. Don't, don't apologize don't for canceling apologize. a membership. You, you do not have to do that. The fact that you were a membership at all means the world to me. You, you should never have to apologize for not throwing money at me. That's just silly. You're being out. You're being more financially responsible than I am. That's commendable. And me. I've, I've, I've dedicated Wait. most of my money recently to buying a freaking scarecrow shrine. Like... To be fair, it's it's the dent that that puts in your wallet is way less than the dent that that puts in my wallet. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Cause when I when I frivolously spend, it's like, oh shit, I have zero dollars now. Yeah, I'm just not gonna talk about the near two hundred dollar Lego scarecrow minifigure that I've been debating about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just not gonna bring that up so that you uh, you have a good point. <laughs> Old Lego stuff, man. I'm telling you. All right. Wow. He he changed so fast. What? What did we do that time? I don't know what happened that time. <laughs> oh, the roundabout's actually gonna get me friggin' killed here because it keeps impacting the, uh, the little bubbles. No, yeah, yeah, chat, get this, right? Um, <laughs> if you want a high quality, if you want a high quality version of the original Lego Scarecrow minifigure, 
that was sold in, like, the old LEGO Batman sets. Like, we're talking, like, the old LEGO Scarecrow airplane. You pay, you have to pay upwards of between, and anywhere between $100 to $200. The cheapest one, the cheapest one I have been able to find so far on my little hunt to get my hands on one of these, because I want to collect all the LEGO Scarecrow minifigures at some point. I collect Scarecrow merch, um, which that just made me notice, actually looking over at my shelf, that something knocked over two of my Scarecrow figures on that shelf. Um, but Oops. The, the lowest price, the most reasonable price I was able to find for an original Scarecrow minifigure was one that sold for four. It was selling for forty dollars. Try and take a guess, chat. Why that Lego minifigure was forty dollars? I'm gonna give chat a minute to guess this before we start another attempt. I want to see why they think it was so cheap compared to what it normally looks like. Like compared to what it normally sells for. So, so no head. Okay, I saw somebody in chat get it. I saw someone in chat get it right. <laughs> I think when the fire comes, all right, all right. You, someone, someone in chat guessed it correctly. Oh, uh, well, I guess that. two people in chat guessed it correctly, but one person got the specific part right. Its chest was cracked down the middle, <laughs> and the head was chewed to the point now where it wasn't so recognizable. Skylanders. What did that? Who chewed that? Because if it was the dog, why are you letting your dog chew on your expensive ass Lego minifigure? And if it was the owner, what kind of deranged, rabid person are you that you're just going to town on your Lego scarecrow? Just like ripping it to shreds, you know, like ripping its head asunder. Thing wasn't recognizable, guys. Who does that? I bet that hurt to look at. They s and they were selling it for $47! Like, the thing was mangled! It was just a heap of mangled plastic, and it was still selling for that! Like, what?! Like, what do you mean?! Man was trying to sell me like a dead carcass! Alright, so Ender, uh, super chat, um... Oh, we got- we got two super chats that I didn't see. Um, I think when the fire creatures attack you, the fire coming from the nose signals that they're about to do that. That's good to know. Um, thank you for your super chat. Uh, Vicar Silver. Now I don't feel so guilty about buying Skylanders. Oh, no, Skylanders are awesome. Way better investment than what I'm doing. Um, but no, yeah, they are literally selling a figure that is disfigured to the point where you can't even recognize the face. And they are selling it for more money than a modern like perfect mint condition scarecrow minifigure you know how i know i have one sitting on my shelf right now you know how much a mint condition like high quality like new scarecrow minifigure sells for you know how much that sold for it was like six dollars so, if you want a high quality new one, six bucks. If you want a mangled, destroyed, chewed old one, $47 or more. Yeah. And y'all And y'all may be saying like, "Oh, well, pastor, why are you why do you want it then if it's so expensive?" Cuz you I'm a collector because scarecrow and scarecrow I really have like not, collecting. Do not things. know who Zach is. Like I have, I have a hyperfixation, and I need it fueled. To be fair, I've been, I've been recently thinking about spending some big bucks on a uh, one of the new Silent Hill statues. Okay, yeah, they look amazing. I would not blame you. Although, why the fuck did they give Pyramid Head the? Uh, the the great knife instead of the uh spear that he has in the scene from that statue because pyramid head doesn't use a spear lyra it's fine i think you know what's funny to me hmm. despite the fact that the the like the great knife is iconic i think pyramid head legitimately has more screen time with the spear than he does with the great knife all of Pyramid Head's important scenes include the spear. Like, literally, if you think about the most important scenes with Pyramid Head in Silent Hill 2, I can only think of one where he's using the Great Knife, and it's not even as important as any of the scenes where he's using the spear. 
Yes, I'm still uh, salty about the news, chat. Yes, I'm still pissed about that. They freaking, like, me and Phil were talking about the freaking reveals they were doing for that movie, too. They're adding in new characters that were never there. Like, who the hell's Jacob Crane? He just cranes all over the place, man. Like, why, why are they making up people for Silent Hill 2? I don't care what his lore purposes are. I was telling this I was telling this to Phil, like, the other day, whenever him and I were talking in DMs. I think Jacob Crane purely exists as an expedition, like, an exposition dump at the end of that Silent Hill movie they're making. Just like they did in the original Silent Hill movie with Alessa, where they just gave us, like, ten minutes of exposition about why everything's happening. Because how are they going to give exposition with this plot of Silent Hill 2 if there's no one to give it, right? How did you just revive me? Because I'm angry and rage makes me better at games. Noted. You, you, you keep, like, dragging my soul back to this unholy land. You're like, no! Get back over here! You know that clip from Teen Titans when, like, Robin's about to fall off his building and Slade saves him. He's like, you saved me? And Slade's just like, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> me, when, me when the doctor from Dreams of an Insomniac volume 0 0.5 moment. <laughs> I appreciate the reference. Why did oh. the time when I was supering? <laughs> Why did you have to die when he did the transition? Why? Okay, don't hit the- okay, well I guess I didn't hit the bubble with my projectile. <laughs> no, we're not playing the DLC before we beat the regular base game. I- I, I know what you mean- I, I know what you mean in the chat about how the- well, like, beating the DLC first will make you stronger, but we're gonna beat the game normally first. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. Fuck. Okay. I, how did I... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, how did I not get hit, and then immediately got hit after. when I'm crouching like this. I'm sure I am, right? God, I have such a hard time paying attention to both the platforming and the little fireball goblins on the ground. Come on. I struggle so much with bosses like this because I get, like, so overwhelmed by no! everything on the screen. Alright, let me... <laughs> I hate this session! I hate when Pastor Steve still and gets hit by the fire. Rah! Yeah. Yeah, me too, buddy. Oh, God. Hold on, I gotta test something real quick. Is anybody still in the house? <laughs> my God, my ears. Oh, damn it, it lagged. It lagged at just the wrong time. <laughs> Now I know why you were asking. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait! I'm not done with you! Ow. Every time I cough, half of... Like, I don't know if this is, if this is something I should be medically concerned about, but every time I cough now, there's like a really sharp pain in my left eye. Huh. It seems medically concerning, but <laughs> Oh god, I'm so scared. Well, okay. okay. They do they don't hurt me when I'm on this platform. Come on. Oh, that mother does. Fucker! Oh. oh my god, you can tell nobody's home. <gasps> Poor 
three gallons of water on them. No, who built that? Maybe, maybe no. I don't care. They're me. I don't like meanie heads. Yeah, but is murder the solution? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, we're murdering this this guy right here. We're not murdering him. We're giving him a walloping until he gives us his soul contract, so that he lives hey. in eternal servitude to the devil. It's different. <laughs> Isn't that worse? We have to pay off our debt, Lyra. We're not murdering him because he's a dick. Miss horrors. Miss horrors. God, I love the idea of somebody talking to me and I'm just saying it's Miss Horrors to you, thank you. You are now talking to Miss Horrors and Mr. Speck. Which sounds like a derogatory thing someone would call me, honestly. Mr. Mr. S Mr. Speck. Mr. Zhinyak. You are but a speck, Astra. Okay, do not shoot okay. the little bubbles. I, it's a little hard to when I'm dead. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. 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 Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Somebody's gonna clip me just fucking screeching like a FNAF character. <laughs> Someone's gonna use that in their fan game. <laughs> Hold oh. on, I need to... <laughs> I need a fucking, like, action replay on that. Hold on. Alright. I'll read God the chat it, in the meantime. You having a bad time, bro? Oh, you don't know the sh You don't know, man. Yes, I've thought about talking about Oblita's Casa. I get comments about it on every single video I upload. I just haven't yet because the game is like literally glitchy beyond belief from what I've heard and I'm waiting for it to be reprogrammed from the ground up. God damn. The screech! This boss is so hard. This boss is so hard. Have you seen any gameplay from uh, Killer Knight? No, no I haven't. It's cool. My my bro Bonzi developed it. Oh. It's a it was a game specifically made to just like celebrate the anniversary of FNAF 3. Oh, cool. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, it's like in, instead of being a more standard FNAF game, it's like a kind of point and click adventure horror game. Master <laughs> wins the Garden of Ban Ban 2 stream. Insult me like that again and you'll be banned. That was a banned. joke, yeah. but never. He'll be Ban Ban. Shut the fuck up! Hello again, Orange Pasta Man and Shadow Horrors or Monsieur Pastra, and yeah, I'll clip it and the laugh. Thank you, Coco Gojira. Thank you. No, chat, don't humor Lyra's puns. Don't humor her. Do you have any OCs based on games you like? Every single one, pretty much. <laughs> Clyde's completely original. Small Winfrey, Winfrey was based off Five Nights at Candy's 3. Winfrey was originally inspired by Vinny. Klaus and Jack are both based on Five Nights at Freddy's, and Klaus is also based off of, um... Klaus is based off of, um, one of the mascot characters from Treasure Island, uh, Undying. Um, Simon is based off of the Scarecrow. The Flock is based off of both the Scarecrow as well, and more specifically, uh, Fiddlesticks from League of Legends. Um, which, like, say what you want about that game, but Fiddlesticks is freaking cool. Uh, Mortimer was based off of Bendy and the Ink Machine, and Lankman was also both based off of Scarecrow and Spamfin. So basically, Scarecrow is responsible for like half my characters. Also, are you ready to retry? Just a second. Hold on. Sorry, I was taking a big bite. All right, here this is so good, bro. Yeah, I can tell. It's like all these pickled vegetables and jalapenos and onions and 
like all like cucumbers and all this shit thrown together with like pork and some really nice bread. Mm. So we got some we got on the soup chat. Small small chance of subconjunctive hemorrhage can cause eye pain when coughing. If it persists, get it checked out. I'm not a doctor. That's scary. <laughs> Have either of you watched MS is Blue? If, it, if not, it's blue? a horror TF2 if movie made in SFM. It's, 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 it's as long as an actual movie. I've watched it twice. I've not watched it once. I've watched it twice, and I literally cannot look at the Team Fortress 2 characters the same way. It is fantastic. It is one of the best like pieces of internet horror I've watched in years. Is it, is it scary? It is. It's really scary at parts. Like, there are points- I can't imagine that... being scared in a movie that uses the fucking TF2 models. Yeah, neither did I. But I've watched it twice now. And then, uh, Rad made his profile picture one of the screenshots that scared the hell out of me, which felt very counterintuitive on his part because it also scared the hell out of him, and he's expressed the fact that he hates looking at his own profile. Wow, this is an ass run. <laughs> it's right. okay, you can solo. It was watch. not scary, but rather uncomfortable. I think it was pretty scary. I, uh, also, I wanted to mention, somebody in chat just straight up said Lyra Hot, which, uh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know how old you are, so if you're a minor, that's really uncomfortable, but if you're not, then thank you. Master, you could be, you should be your concern. Your chat probably does drugs. So what am I supposed to do? Put, like, a, put, like, a little questionnaire before people join the stream? Do you smoke? Do you do weed? I mean, to be fair, I do drugs as well, so I can't even fucking, like, judge them. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs, you'll end up like me, Miss Horrors. Oh, come on. You'll end up with, like, giant tits and red eyes, it's weird. <laughs> Why do I keep dying? Stop! Okay, Yo, Zach. I, part. I need you. Hmm. What did I just <laughs> say? <laughs> Yippee! I wanted to ask you about a uh, stream. <laughs> oh Damn it. my god! Clip every weird noise in the stream so people can use them as It's so hard. So it's gonna be funny if that's what Phil gets in F N A. I'm sorry. Gokojo <laughs> Gojira. Clip every weird noise in the stream so people can use them as jump scare sounds. Also, it's gonna be funny if that's what Phil gets in a FNAF week. True. Thank you for your super chat. Oh my god. I, uh... If I- if somebody just asked me about Obli Casa again after I, I- Okay, look, you just, just go back like a couple minutes in the stream. I just answered- I just answered that question. I, uh, Zach, I wanted to ask you about a stream idea. Oh? You see, Phil- basically bought me Signalis, and I'm really interested in it, and I don't know if you've seen any gameplay from it. Do you want to, like, hop on a stream for that game? It looks really, really cool. Funny you say that. That was on my stream list. Oh, shit. Yeah, I had that game on my stream list, and I was talking to Phil about it as well. Fuck yeah, let's go! I told Phil that um, I was watching his stream of it, but I had to stop because I wanted to try the game for myself. Makes sense, makes sense. It, it looks really good. It looks like peak survival horror. Honestly, what I would probably do then is just like, um, either just play it on my own and then do my own stream, and then whenever you stream, I'll probably hop on. I think that would probably be the best idea. Because I do want to experience that game for myself. Yeah. Alongside my massive usually... list. I usually don't like streaming on my own anyway. It gets a little bit, like, uh, anxiety-inducing when I'm just alone with chat. Mm hmm Alright, alright. Lobber! Oh my god! No! Okay. Master, what character do you pick in Mario Party? Birdo. Birdo is the best Mario character, and I will not Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Do you agree? Yes. Oh my god. Birdo's sweet. I love Birdo. Birdo is the best Mario character. When I was little, I had a crush on Birdo. I always just thought Birdo was funky. When I when I when they announced that she was coming back in the next Mario Kart DLC, that was literally the thing I was most excited for with that new Nintendo Direct. Dude, in the fucking Yoshi's Island track, hello? Yeah, right? I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the new Mario Kart DLC. I'm also I've never played a Pikmin game in my life, but my god, Pikmin 4 looks really, really cool. It does, it really does. Birdo Mario Kart sweet though. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Can we just appreciate how cool the background for this level is? Nuh uh, nuh uh. Oh, there you go, okay, okay, okay. You're not allowed to die. Who the fuck said you could? No! <laughs> what about the Legend of Zelda Cures of the Kingdom? It looks good, but I've never cared for Legend of Zelda. That is a fucking surprise. I literally, the only Legend of Zelda game I have played to completion is Majora's Mask. Okay, I was about to fucking say, that Majora's is Mask is one. literally a you game. Yeah, Majora's Damn Mask it. is the only one I ever cared enough about to actually play through in its entirety. Games, the games are great. I just don't really You know care. what you still haven't beaten? Yeah, I know I haven't beaten Sonic Frontiers. Yep. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say it. It's still painful. I but understand. But if you've known me for a long period of time, you know this is common. I'm gonna like strap you down and force you to complete that game at some point. I will somehow find a way to not play it if I'm not in the mood. I literally need to be in such a specific mood to actually finish things, you have no idea. <laughs> Me, but at scripts. No, yeah, scripts I will usually finish in like one sitting. If for me, it's either one sitting or they never get finished. Yeah, I usually finish scripts in one sitting unless it's like a multi day, like, <gasps> unless it's like one no! of those like big scripts, like the Bendy and the Ink Machine video. Okay, 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 okay. Please, I beg. I beg. I beg. Flintar! Alright. It's up to you! It's up to you! I don't like this pressure. I know you can do it! I believe in you! Fun oh fact, so I've ever stopped to think that William Afton was the only character who truly died as a furry while the kids were just suffering. Yes! Sleep. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, it's over. Okay. First boss of the stream. First boss of the stream. Oh, we got an A minus. That's pretty good. That's really good. Oh my god. Okay, so first boss of the stream down. That means we gotta beat Wally Warbles now. That was a legendary fucking scream. Yeah, yeah it was. I'm lucky my volume was turned down. Sorry about that. Oh my god. Alright. Played like someone who did abs right hit list. You right? You right? Oh god, Funhouse Frazzle. We're gonna get our asses whooped. Yep. Oh oh, 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 oh. Me, me. Shit. Fuck. Me, me. Oh, thank you. Wait. That was smooth. Thank you. I immediately got hit after, so it was kind of ruined, but... Whatever. Me, me. Oh, I back. forgot. I forgot I had lava on. Yeah, we don't really have the ideal, um, like, weapons now for this. Oh, shit, fuck, 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 shit, fuck. 
Enter. Okay. Easy. <laughs> Not easy. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> you just, you just held forward. <laughs> <laughs> you're, oh, we, we, actually, you know, we should probably, uh, go back to the map and change our weapons out. Yeah, you know, you have, good idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the regular and I'm gonna get the chaser for this. Yeah, this is one of those Zack making weird noises streams. And then me just fucking screaming. Wait, no! Okay, we just shoot the ducklings. Shoot. The ducklings. Oh, no! <laughs> you're okay, you're okay! <laughs> Mimi. You can kill the big duck? Oh, but why do, why, why do we care to kill the big duck? You can just crouch on the big duck. I think it's more counterintuitive to even try and kill the big duck. Oh. <laughs> You're okay. I got you. <laughs> the compilation of Lyra Horror is making the most strange goblin-esque noises. That was just That was tragic. fucking stupid. That, that was, was awful. <laughs> okay, the chaser's really helpful in this running gun actually. Oh shoot. Okay. I'm just taking it nice and slow. Okay, this is the part that messes with me real bad. Pastron and Lyra struggle to escape Twitter low. This part gets me really scared. Uh, no, not the Tuba man! <laughs> me when I burn it all over the place. Yeah, but now I do, but I need to add a fly again. Okay, wait, I don't. Yeah, I don't actually need to go up there. I can just stand here. I hope you appreciated my little Dorothy VM Scared 6 reference. I did. I did. <clears throat> okay, the chaser is actually so good in this running gun because I can just stand OP. here. That is OP. I can just stand here out of harm's way. Moi, moi, moi. Fucking goofy shit. Alright, alright. Okay, now we just got one of these. What in the- Okay, okay, it's dead. And we're done! Woo! Oh, what can I say? I'm a bit of a gamer. Crack shot is better. So good that we won. So good that we won without it. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. Are we gonna beat this aisle really fast? I think we are, because I mean, like, we already had three bosses cleared in it the moment we started stream, right? Mm. Alright, alright, so let's go buy some more stuff. I wanna go spend my doubloons. Zach, you sounded like Sonic with that ego. Yeah, I don't even have a good rebuttal to that, that's just fair enough. Hmm, smoke bomb, lover. Well, we're gonna be finding Wally Warbles next, so it doesn't really matter which uh, weapons I buy. I think the Let smoke me check bomb something is... real quick. But I like running my I like running my extra heart. Uh, crack shot. I'll buy crack shot. You know what? Yeah, I'll listen to chat. I'll let I'll I'll I'll, I'll give you. Whoa. 
I'm buying Converge. This shit looks OP. It, it is. It is pretty good. All right, there we go. We got that. Uh, and yeah, all that's left for us to do on this island, Wally Warbles. Oh, just a step. Sorry, I'll go. Wait, you don't already have the smoke bomb? No, I uh, I bought the extra heart because I don't much care for the smoke bomb. Besides, Larry uses a smoke bomb. All right, Wally. You know, Wally's one of my least favorite bosses in this game. Yep. Not, not necessarily. Oh I don't my necessarily god. I think he's like terrible or anything. I just think he's kind of boring. I also think he's just aggravating. Yeah. Like, this boss is a bitch to get through. There's only, there's only one airplane boss I like less. And it's also just the worst boss in the game to me. Wally Warbles sure... is just like. Sorry? I was gonna say I'm sure you can I'm sure you can tell which one I'm thinking of when I say that there's one boss I hate more than this. Mmm. Oh I'm no. I'm sure you get an idea because I know that you and I are gonna be fighting him at some point very soon, probably this stream. Uh Yep, yep, chat got it right. It's it's the stupid robot, Dr. Kell's robot. Dr. Cow's robot is horrible. Not only is it the most, like, annoying boss in the game to fight, but also, like, I just think it's lame. I just think it's a lame fight. There isn't much going on. It's like, there's only really two phases, because, like, I guess there's the middle phase where the head's flying around, but it's not like... Like, that just feels more like a transition into the only other, like, real phase of the fight when he just... shoots projectiles. You're not really far for our first attempt, what the fuck? Yeah, Wally Warbles isn't that bad. Yeah, there is absolutely too much going on with Dr. Kell's robot. There's so much all at once. Have you ever seen that video that's like, there, these birds hate people? Oh my god, I am playing horribly. I have seen that, yeah. That's like Wally Warbles in a nutshell. Yeah, basically. I find it funny that all you have to do for this How the fuck are you dead? Okay. You know what? <laughs> you can't always be God Gamer. <laughs> all you have to do for this section is stay in the back. No! Sick! Oh, all you have to do is stay in the back while you dead? <laughs> so I'll stay with your ass. I died in the back. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? What was your excuse that time? Whatever. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Come on. Where is it? I'm waiting. I don't have... I don't have the gall to be as mean to you as I am to my other friends. <laughs> Damn, okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna straight up say suck my dick or some shit like that. <laughs> That was so fucking stupid. No! Sticks to the wall, right? There's other complications, but I'm saying it's better if you stick to the back. Was I wrong? No, it's just that, you know, you were asking how I died, and, you know, suddenly there's other complications the moment you're dying. Well, well, maybe the boss is a bit more complicated. Maybe, maybe he is, maybe he is, yeah. I always die around the middle of that section. Definitely the hardest of his attacks, at least in this phase. And he just keeps doing it. These birds hate people! Alright, I'm nuking a child. Don't take that out of context. Alright, alright, alright. 
alright, 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 alright. Surely I've got to be getting close, right? Ah. Damn it. Damn. I f Opinions on King on, on King Dice. Love King Dice. He's awesome. Shit. I'm sorry. Okay. Ah. We can do this. This is not the dragon. The dragon these nuts. Why do you like this? <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting that we even have supers. They they are the thing that keeps saving me during these fights. The ultimate clutch machine. What? Oops. I thought I had a super stored up. I was wondering why you were just like shoving your face into him for a minute. Ah. I just wanted a kiss. I wanted to kick the bird. <laughs> These birds ain't loyal. this broad? This isn't too bad. I find that this phase isn't too bad, it just messes me up sometimes. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Now we swap over to the big bomb. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot this pills explode. Yeah. Come on, come on, I know I'm come close. Come on. I know I'm close. I know I'm close. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. Whoopee! See, he's not ah. bad. Compared to the dragon, Wally's got nothing. Yeah, there we go, chat. So that's the last boss. Hey, all, that's the last boss in all two. So yeah, all three yeah. time. Isle 3 has some of my favorites and some of my least favorites. Real. No longer the biggest bird. <laughs> I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. Okay, let's go. Which one of you- which one of us was King Dice? I think you were last stream. Okay. Okay. Looks like I might have underestimated you bums. You can't just be dead as but God. Show on over to the next round. Lots of fun times for you there. Yes, what did you think of the first click you And there he goes. That's King Dice. <laughs> 20 bucks says you can't beat Dr. Cal with the cursed relic. You're right! Absolutely! I'm not even taking that! Have you seen The Last of Us show? And yes, what did you think of the click, uh, the first clicker scene? I haven't even played The Last of Us games. I have not seen the show yet. The little mug has some fat in him, I'll say that much. That might convince me that them deadest. You, you see, there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think something fishy. I don't know, sorry, mister. I think there's something fishy about those two. And don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little things try anything, I'll be waiting. Alright. Aisle three time. Alright, so let's see here. 
So we've got uh, we've got the the queen bee right away. I believe we can do um, grimy beard right away. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we can. That's about do, all. We cannot do Calamaria. Tragic. Boobies. <laughs> You're gonna need some tip if you wanna heal all them dead beats. Start by mixing up your what? Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna... I don't care about. Hold on, let me. Uh, what's uh, what's the button again for doing that? For uh, swapping the weapons? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right here. Okay. So it looks like right now we've got a choice between either doing um, uh, rumor honey, honey, rumor honey bottoms, or um, or uh, Rimey beard. So. Rimey beard. Um, Rimey beard. I will not disclose my opinion about Calamaria chat. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna um. We're gonna do a poll, see what you guys think we should fight. The choice is Calamaria, or not Calamaria, sorry. I'm thinking about Calamaria right now. Uh, so your choice between uh, Brimey Beard or uh, Honey Bottoms. Who? Big B. Big Man. Big Shack. All right. All right. Let's, let's see. Sorry, right, sorry. It's it's hard to stop thinking about Calamari chat. Sorry. Oh, welcome to the pumpkin patch, Goku Gojira. Thank you so much. Put right, it back see. in your pants. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, so uh, let's see. Oh, it's pretty split so far. Um, looks like the votes right now are uh, going for Brimy Beard. So uh, it looks like we're gonna be fighting Big Man. Okay. I I hate I I'm a, I'm a real chat. I really hate the I really hate the uh friggin' B boss fight purely because of the fact that like it's so hard to focus. I can't see anything. It's so it's so uh busy. It's so visually busy. Well yeah, because she's a busy bee. Yeah, I know that, but she didn't have to make the visuals of her entire place reflect that. I'm just saying, like Okay, so it looks like it looks like right now um, the votes are winning for a uh, Brimey Beard. Good, he's a better boss anyway. I love him. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna fight Brimey Beard and then we're gonna fight uh, Honey Bottom. All right. All right. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I, I think I think this is what I normally run on him anyway. All right, shooting and looting. Shooting and looting. All right. So, okay, yeah, the, the barrel cannot be hurt. I was trying to remember if it could or not. And I'm immediately getting my ass whooped. <laughs> Fuck. Pastry. My lawyer informs me I am not legally required to give my impressions of Kai Amy. <gasps> uh, it cannot be used against me in a court of law. You know, I think I need a lawyer. I, I, I think I need a lawyer like that too, Xanraptor. I think I need one of those too. Um, thank you so much for your super chat. Ah! Thank you. Watch this. Thank you! No, the squid! Kill the squid! Kill the squid! Call Saul. The dogs. What the dog do we? I would say we're managing okay, but uh, yeah, no. You see, that's what happens. Can't even mention that shit. This is an awesome boss. Can I just say this is like one of my favorites in the game? I really like this fight, yeah. Maybe it's also just because I really like pirates. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. Which one of you is using Converge wrong? That would be Lyra, not me, I swear. What? What do you mean? <laughs> How am I using Converge wrong? What video of yours do you like most? I'm trying to remember how you even use Converge. It, you can't you can't play for chat, you have to play the DLC. 
I don't even remember how Converge is meant to be used. That's why I didn't buy it. It fires off three shots. It's perfectly hitting him. It's fine. You need to hold the- you need to hold, uh, hold the aiming button. Well, uh, 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 okay. Oh, it, it it tightens the spread. Oh, that's cool. I don't care. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh, kill him! Kill, 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 kill him. him! Oh, it's okay. It's not that bad. You may be wondering to yourself, yeah, why would you be stupid enough? You use your super on um, on, a, on a squid. The answer to that is, I got killed by a shark. And Lyra got killed by a barrel. Wasted ultimate. You call it wasted, I call it a dead squid. And squid are tasty. I would not know. Also, uh, oh wow, he, he's so, okay, there it is. Are you also allergic to shellfish? Wait, no, squid isn't no, even I'm a not, shellfish. I'm not, I am not allergic to shellfish and squid is not shellfish. <laughs> okay, well, I I'm meant gonna... to say, are you allergic to seafood and I said shellfish instead. Seafood is one of the few things I can eat, actually. Have you just not tried squid? No. Mm. I've had pretty much everything else, though. Have you had octopus? No. Damn, you miss it out. Is squid that much different from octopus? Well, I mean, they're both just really good. I prefer octopus, though. Like, 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 what's the difference? Like, is this, is this, say... like, a stupid thing for me to be asking? Like, is this, like, a turkey and chicken type of situation where, like, they're both birds, but they taste drastically different? Um, squid has a slightly different flavor, and it's a bit firmer. I like the octopus because it's a bit more tender. Oh, okay, okay. Why is it the only food you can eat? Do you have limitations? Oh, you have not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Uh, I have some pretty bad limitations. Fuck. Every now and then, every now and then, I do a stream, um, and this conversation topic gets brought up. And every single time this conversation topic gets brought up, the people in chat are like, the, the people in chat for the rest of the stream are sad for me. <laughs> I'm glad I can catch a stream. Fuck. You guys are like my favorite comfort creators. <laughs> you guys have the game Smile for me. It seems like I did be up your alley. I've never heard of the game Smile. For uh, no, wait, wait, wait! I actually heard, have heard of that game. Sorry, I got distracted by the super chat. Um, I have heard of that game. Um, I haven't seen anything from it. I haven't played it, but it looks pretty cool. Um, I actually kind of want to try it. Um, also, yeah, thank you so much for your super chat. It's really appreciated. How do you feel about Scarecrow and Batman Begins? That is my least favorite version of a Scarecrow I think ever made. Um, other than the one in uh, the live action show Titans. If you want- Uh, you want... Gotham? Hello? Lyra, you haven't seen the Titans version, have you? No. Yeah, uh, it makes sense that you just compared it to Gotham's version. I but was about is... to- I was about to say, like, isn't the Gotham one the worst? The Gotham one I'm not a fan of, but at least he's written okay. The one in Titans? Um... Well, okay, here's the thing, right? First of all, he doesn't call himself Scarecrow, and he never once wears the costume. Um, second of all, he is acted terribly. And third of all, um, he is not the Scarecrow in the slightest, in any way, shape, or form. Um, and for some reason they tried to make him a Teen Titans villain. What the the Titans fuck? one is atrocious, yeah. Like, even- even if you're not a Scarecrow fan like me, he's just a horribly written character. Like, he's just an awful character in general. You don't even- you don't even have to be a Scarecrow fan to understand why he sucks ass. He only speaks in friggin' like, crappy, like, poems, and, um... He literally, like, never wears his costume, and does the most horribly, like... You know, normally I don't like to use this word. But, like, he does the most cringe stuff I've ever seen. He takes over Wayne Manor and he goes, It's now called Crane Manor. And he does a little oh dance. He sees his scarecrow mask in a thing and he's like, No, I am better than that now. 
It's like, no, put it on. Put it on. You're so lame. The one in Batman Begins is a close second for my least favorite, though. Yeah, because that's just a twink with fear gas. His entire motivation as a villain is so lame by comparison. He's essentially just some dude who's a thug that makes money off of his fear toxin, and that's the end of it. Like, he just wants to make money. Um, his design is literally just some lawyer in, a in like, a friggin' burlap sack, which I get that the Batman, uh... I, I get that the Nolan trilogy is supposed to be realistic. Really, I do. But, like, I, I feel like you can't use that excuse when the Joker's design looks so good for a realistic setting. Like... Scarecrow looks so lame by comparison. Oh! I'm dead. Nah, you got this. You got this. Fuck! I should never try and parry, actually. Which, like, you know what else is confusing? You know what else is really confusing about, um, like, Scarecrow being a main villain in the Titans show? Like, okay. Titan show. And, you know, people in chat, I feel like the people in chat who have watched this show can get what I mean, right? We had, uh, use the dash. Yeah, yeah, good advice. Yeah, I haven't thought of it. So, thing is with the Titan show, right? And the people in chat who have seen this show will get it. And even the people who haven't seen it will probably get what I mean here. So, yeah, first of all, why? But second of all, we- the Titan show has villains like, um, I'm blanking on the name of Raven's dad. Do you remember the name of Raven's dad? Sadly not. Uh, chat, what's Raven's dad's name? I'm blanking on his name and I feel really angry that I'm forgetting right now. Um... Is it Azurite? Trigon, Trigon, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, Trigon, so thank in you. in the Titans show, the, you've got villains like dead. Trigon, you've got Deathstroke, you've got Blackfire, you know, villains who are able to compete with and fight the Teen Titans. And then there's Scarecrow. What the hell does Scarecrow do as a third- What did they do to Slate? Slate is Deathstroke. Um, so tell me, how do you go from Trigon and Deathstroke to, to Scarecrow? Because, you know, I love Scarecrow as much as the next guy, but there ain't no way that he is a comparable step up from Trigon and Deathstroke. Who are like two villains that absolutely can take on like a like a hero team like the Teen Titans? Scarecrow, like Scarecrow, in some adaptations, could barely take Batman alone. Why is he the main villain of an arc in Titans? And why is he a villain after two villains that are more competent and more like you know capable of fighting those heroes? Why is he like the next step up? Like, Scarecrow needs to stay in his own lane, you're absolutely right. He has no reason to be there. He makes no sense. No, they really weren't on their A-game. Like, you know, like, aside from him being just like a poorly written version of Scarecrow that's, you know, just terribly made. Like, even just thinking about it, fundamentally, Scarecrow just being in that show as a main villain doesn't make sense. Maybe he could be like there for like a single episode, but having him be the main villain of an arc? I don't care how well written Scarecrow is, I'm not gonna and believe if, he'd be able to do that after they were dealing with Trigon and Deathstroke! And if it was an arc, it should have been the first arc of the show. Exactly! Cause like, you, there, there's no progression in the stakes with that. Scarecrow should have been like, if he's gonna be the main villain of an arc, have it be the first arc before villains like Deathstroke and Trigon are introduced. Because the, like, I don't know, it just feels like a massive downgrade. Like, it feels like if they could defeat villains like that, there's no way they'd be struggling with Crane. Especially considering his fear toxin in that show isn't even used. Wait, what? That, oh yeah, in, in Titans, he doesn't use his fear toxin. He uses one that removes your fear, like the one in uh, New Batman Adventures and in the comic that introduced it. And he also just uses one that kills you, which, like... Okay... Is it fear toxin if he sprays you and you die? That just sounds like, that just sounds like, you know, like, freaking like, just... Neurotoxin or poison, like, that's not even, that's not even playing to his gimmick anymore. No, yeah, no fear gas, no fear gas to the people like in chat who have like the titans. I'm, I'm, he never... I'm, I'm... Sorry. He, he never once uses his fear toxin. Even once. You never see it in Titans. Not even a single time. I know that. 
I know that Scarecrow's character isn't the fear toxin, but also I don't feel like Scarecrow's character should exist without that element. It's an element that he uses, like, you know, in most of his, uh, like, storylines, and it is his most powerful weapon. It's come on, not, Zed, like, come on. It's not his entire thing, but he shouldn't be completely without it either. Ah. Uh, they took away his- uh, okay, yeah, 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 here's, here's the thing, chat, here's the thing. Let me ask you this, right? Also, we got so close. But here's my question. If you introduce Scarecrow, and he doesn't call himself Scarecrow, and he doesn't wear his Scarecrow costume, and he doesn't use his fear toxin, and his motivation is to, like, no longer be, like, a supervillain and, like, be his own person. Could you actually tell me how that is the Scarecrow in any way, shape, or form? Is that... it? If you... If, if all those elements are gone, who is that character? He's just some dude. He is just... He is just a guy. Oh, did I also mention that Scarecrow in Titans uses the Lazarus Pit, and he also teams up with the Red Hood? What? Yeah, he teams up with Jason Todd, and he uses the Lazarus Pit. Um, you know, Rachel Ghoul's thing? Yeah. Turns out there was a Lazarus Pit just under Arkham Asylum, just sitting under there, and he's like, Oh shit, hey, this is awesome, okay. Because, yeah, for some reason, the Gotham Architects in the Titans universe decided to build uh, Arkham Asylum right on top of, you know, just a Lazarus pit. Yeah, just one of the most, one of the most, like, you know, powerful things in the DC universe used by one of DC's, you know, most significant villains. And just, just vibing under Arkham Asylum. You know, the place with some of the most dangerous people in the entire world all met up in one place, like... There's no problem with that, no, no. I apologize, Chad, if I am going on a massive, massive rant right now, but I hate Titans as a show so much and somebody prompted me to do this. Titans is such a bad show, I hate it so much. I apologize if there are people in the chat who like really like Titans, but I cannot stand it. And don't even get me started on how they write, like, Dick Grayson. Nightwing and Dick Grayson are, like, my favorite comic book character aside from Scarecrow, and they butcher his character as well. <laughs> the actor who plays him is amazing, too. I feel like he's so wasted, because he does such an amazing they job, but my god, the writing. For Robin to get to Batman, but why is Scarecrow even here? Look, I feel also, like if you got that Scarecrow actor to play, um, Robin and Nightwing in, like, a more competently written piece of Batman media, he would be, like, my definitive live-action Robin. <laughs> I, I couldn't save you. I couldn't save you. I had to avoid the projectile. Oh, shoot. He's shooting his projectile. Yeah, that did not hit him for shit. Yeah, that didn't even hit him a little bit. This is gonna be hard. Oh, those projectiles mess with me so bad. Ah. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce is also like 75 and he goes on a murder rampage in Titans. Like, he murders so many people. He murders the ventriloquist. Why? What was the ventriloquist doing? Was ventriloquist and Scarface really that big of a deal that Batman felt the need to murder them in cold blood? Like, isn't that Batman's entire thing that he doesn't kill people in the first place? If he's even killing people at all, why is he killing people who, like, literally are not even that dangerous by comparison? It's so stupid. I hate it so much, chat. I'm trying to think of other things about that show that I want to complain about now because now I'm on the subject and that show, like, I have so much pent up rage with that show. So, so much pent up rage. Um, they wasted Raven. Oh yeah, Raven was terrible. Just, just all of the characters in it were really poorly done. Like, I don't even mind some of the design changes they made for them, but I just feel like the way they Starfire, portray them. Starfire's design is awesome. See, like, I feel like, I feel like the thing is a lot of people complain about Starfire and Titans, um, because, you know, like, um... Because they're racist. Yeah, because they're racist. But, like, the thing is, I absolutely think that is not a problem, and I think, like, they could have done that perfect. I just feel like the way they wrote Starfire was the problem. Yep. Like, let's not blame the poor interpretation of Starfire on the actress who played them and, like, you know, like, her race. That's just stupid. 
because like you can you 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 can per, like get characters to portray or actors to portray characters Hi, like that and still have them do a great job and have it be faithful. Um, we'll it's just the fact that they wrote her terribly. You both have been a huge inspiration to me to work on my stories and the Pikmin Yeah, Beast Boy not transforming. <laughs> and just Cyborg not did. being there for most of it. Um, hi, Pastor and Lyra. Happy you both enjoyed my fan art. We'll be making more in the future. You both have been a huge inspiration Aww. to me to work on my stories, and the Pikmin series is great. Very underrated. Thank you so much. I really appreciate oh, that. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear we've been able to inspire you. I appreciate the super chat. Yeah, no, Cyborg's in a different show, chat. Cyborg's in a completely different DC TV show. Yeah, he's just not there. And like. Raven, Raven's dialogue is so ungodly edgy too. Like I get it, it's Raven. Raven's always been edgy, and you know what? Like edgy does not equal bad in my books. I do, but, but when you uh, write it the way she's written in that show, like her dialogue, oh my god, it is insufferable. And again, I don't even think the actress who plays her does a bad job. I think she's fine. But my god, the writing. I feel like, I, I feel so bad for so many of these actors. Because like, you know, most of these actors do do a good job of portraying these characters. Absolutely they do. And I feel I like- I had to do. I feel like if they were given- <laughs> I feel like they, if they were given better writing, man, they could be so fantastic. But I always have to remember them now because of Titans. All of them except for Scarecrow. I'm sorry. Like, maybe that guy can act, but whoever casted him to play Jonathan Crane, they deserve to be fired. He does a terrible job playing the character. I don't even think it's just the writing's fault on his part. I just think he's a terrible choice for the character. I remember in my first Scarecrow video, I literally use a line from his, like, something he says in Titans. Um, because for some reason, uh, Scarecrow in Titans has, like, a drug addiction, and he just, like, he's obsessed with doing weed. Which, like, okay. What? Um, yeah, this whole thing is that he really likes weed. Um, and one what of What is this? I... <laughs> One of his lines in Titans that I clipped in my video because it was so bad is, when I'm a good little doggy, they give me my treats. And he was talking about them giving him weed while he was in Arkham. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, he says that. Chat, if you don't believe me, you can you can either you can either look at my old like look at my uh Scarecrow Part 1 video and see me clip it, or if you want to see the full scene, you can literally just look up like I'm pretty sure the scene's just called like on YouTube, like Dick Grayson meets uh, Jonathan Crane or something. It's the first scene the two characters talk. He says that to him because Dick Grayson, in order to get information out of him, just gives him a big pack of weed. How do I dash through that? What? Oh no, the barrel's coming back. Please, please. Okay. Oh yeah, let's go. What? Oh, let's go. What? Let's go. I did it. Yeah, that's yeah. the worst case scenario. I didn't use that one as an example whenever I was talking about Scarecrow adaptations in my video because I was just- I would've just gotten too upset. But no, yeah, that's awesome. I can't believe we actually did that. B plus, okay. Dissing on Titans gave you strength. I said earlier in the stream that the angrier I get, the better I play the game. That was not a joke. <laughs> whenever, I, whenever I'm pissed off, for whatever reason, I hit like a new zen or something. Oh wait, like. oh, wait that's DLC. Uh, no. No, we do not want to go to DLC. <laughs> Good news, Pasta. I clip the dragon fight when Lyra screams so loud in the victory lol. Also, Lyra don't do drugs unless. It's oh, there's free. another mausoleum. Thank you so much for clipping it, Coco Gojira. Aww. I love uh, I, I love seeing stream clips after streams are done. All right, so that's Calamaria, I think. That is Cala Maria. Well, and we then... agreed we were gonna do the B. Oh, hey! Did you know the oh. gonna be there? Hey, Pastor, just joined sub. Hello! We just killed Brimey Beard, and I've been ranting about Titans. Like the TV show, the live action one. The really so bad, bad one. It's so bad. Like, I've, I've sat here and complained about the Gotham version of Scarecrow. Um. But that one, that one at least, I feel has decent writing. I just think the performance on it is terrible, and I think the costume looks tacky. Yo, Zach, before we do this, can I go to the bathroom? Go for it, go for it. Okay. Thanks. Who do you think is the best live-action Scarecrow? See, that's hard to answer, like, honestly. 
Because I think every single one of the live-action Scarecrows is kind of bad. Um, the Batman Begins version is just so lame. The one in Titans is a uh, abomination. And um, friggin' Gotham has so much potential. The Gotham version of Scarecrow had decent writing. I thought the whole interpretation of Scarecrow being a character who views himself as curing his own fears uh, by becoming a Scarecrow, like becoming the Scarecrow he was afraid of, that's a great way to explain his costume. And I think the whole idea of him trying to cure others by exposing them to their worst fears is also a great way of using the fear toxin. But here's the thing. He's underutilized in the show. His costume, I'm sorry to the people who have been telling me it's a great Scarecrow design in the comments of my part two video on Scarecrow. It looks bad. It's tacky as hell. It looks like a bad cosplay. And the performance is so, so poor. He just constantly sounds like he's going to start crying. His dialogue is so bad. It's so corny, like even for Batman stuff. Like the writing of Scarecrow in that show is decent, but the performance and the design miss the mark so badly. Like, my god. Um, have you watched Lego Batman? And if so, what did you think of it? I actually love Lego Batman. I think Lego Batman's great. Um, I don't know anything about Batman or Scarecrow, but I agree. If, even if you don't know anything about uh, Scarecrow, you can, you can look up what the costume looks like and you get what I mean. I just think it's really tacky. It, it looks, it looks fake. I, I think almost every DC villain doesn't work for live action at all. I kind of agree? Also, uh, to anyone who's joining or uh, just comes back, uh, Lyra's just away at the moment, so I'm just talking to you guys while I wait for her to come back. Um, it's it's okay, it's okay, and I don't. I, the TV show budget can only go so far because I think the designs for the other villains are fine. Um, but like I, I think live action Batman villains can work. They absolutely can. But for a lot of them, you have to either double down on the campiness of Batman, or you need to rework them to fit in a realistic setting. Like, for example, Heath Ledger's Joker is a great example of a more grounded version of a Batman villain. He's a greatly written character, and he maintains the Joker sort of vibe. Paul Dano's Riddler is another great example of Batman villains being translated into live action effectively. He keeps up Riddler's gimmick, he has a similar personality, but what's been changed goes from making him some stupid campy villain to actually being this really creepy guy and a really intimidating villain. Um, what is your favorite horror movie? Uh, my favorite horror movie and my favorite horror movie series, um, my favorite horror film is Evil Dead 2, and my favorite horror series just in general is Evil Dead. Um, I've seen that movie more times than I can count, and I am so excited for um, Evil Dead Rise. I'm gonna go see that first day in theaters, or at least I'm gonna try to. If you can make your um, own version of Scarecrow, what will he look like? That's actually a really fun question. Um, is Pastor Down bad yet? We haven't gotten to Calamaria yet, don't worry. Um, so if you- if I could make my own version of Scarecrow, I feel like my version of Scarecrow would um, sort of parallel Batman's design in a weird way. Um, cause, you know, I like the design, the, the design I have in mind for, um, like, Batman, whenever I think of Batman, is sort of like this dark silhouette where the only real, um, features you can make out are what he keeps underneath, like, the cape, like, the more brightly colored, uh, costume, and, like, sort of like his face. So my version of Scarecrow would be, like, primarily, like, wearing black and would have, like, this sort of silhouette to him. And the only real parts of him that would be, like, brighter and, you know, more detailed would be the face. So you could take in all the details of his face, and then I'd give him, like, that hay hair um, that he has in Batman the Animated Series to bring even more attention and make him more striking. Um, I think I think that would be how I would do Scarecrow. Obviously, um, you know, I feel like a description of that is... Yeah, literally the long Halloween design. Literally. If I were to design a Scarecrow design, it would literally be a combination of the new Batman Adventures and Long Halloween. Those are my two favorite Scarecrow designs of all time. It would be something, it would, it would be like some kind of merge between the two of them. Like, it would be like if Long <laughs> Halloween had like a mangled up face. Who would last longer in a fight? Batman's villains against Spider-Man or Spider-Man's villains against Batman? Okay, that's actually a really fun question. 
Um. Hmm. See, I think. I think personally, and chat, you can feel free to disagree. I think Spider Man's villains would not only win, but they would kick Batman's villains' ass. Because here's the thing, right? Batman's villains are sick. I love them all. But most of them are just, like, you know, dudes. You know, some of them have superpowers. You know, there's Bane, there's Poison Ivy. But for the most part, Joker's just a dude, Riddler's just a dude, Scarecrow's just a dude, Penguin's just a dude. Spider-Man's villains? Like, there's Doc Ock, there's Venom, there's Carnage, there's Electro. Even Shocker would probably do a bit more. Um, friggin' the Lizard, uh, Rhino. Most of Spider-Man's villains are, like, way more powerful if we're talking, like, raw power scaling. Poor Batman's villains would get brutalized, and then, like, maybe, like, a couple, like, I imagine Ra's al Ghul would stand on his own, maybe Man Bat, maybe Bane definitely would do something. Poison Ivy probably would, but, like, for the most part, it would kind of be a sweep. <laughs> also, thank you so much, Coco Gojira, really appreciate it. Um, I, I left Morbius out on purpose. The Lizard versus Killer Croc, ooh, that would be a fun one. You know, can I be real with you guys? Um... My, my, like, my, like, two favorite Spider-Man villains, I feel like my, I feel like the default, like, the answer people would expect from me when it comes to Spider-Man villains, like, for what my favorite is, I feel like everyone would expect my answer to be, like, Venom and Venom or, like, Carnage. And you know what? Those, those two are sick, but honestly, my favorite Spider-Man villains are friggin' Mysterio and the Lizard. I think those two are badass. I love the Lizard. Oh, yeah, Kingpin would destroy Penguin. There would be nothing left. There would be no body to find. <laughs> Oh, Electro's cool. Electro's underrated. I feel like I feel like Electro is super underrated purely because of the fact that he doesn't really have a consistent design compared to other Spider-Man villains. I feel like Electro's big problem is like in the comics they in the comics sometimes they like to give him his classic design, which looks okay. Um, but then sometimes they like to try and modernize it, and oftentimes they don't really do a good job. I think the coolest looking Electro is the one from Spectacular Spider-Man, though. He looks sick. Lyra, Lyra had to go to the washroom. I'm just waiting for her to get back. Yeah, um, I always thought I always thought the lizard and Mysterio were the coolest ones. I like I like villains that have like a whole like I, I if you couldn't tell from my choice in Spider-Man and Batman villains, I really like super villains in comics that have the potential to create super like surreal and like um like, really trippy, psychedelic imagery. It's part of the reason I really like Scarecrow's comic so much is, like, the cool visuals. And that's, like, part of the reason I love Mysterio. If y'all have seen Spider-Man Far From Home, you will know what I mean when I say that I love Mysterio for all, like, the visuals he's capable of causing. Because if you- if, if you just heard me say the name of that movie, you know the scene I'm thinking of when I talk about how Mysterio can create the coolest visuals out of any of Spider-Man's villains. I think Electro's face looks fine. Yeah, they did Mysterio awesome! He was so cool! He was so, <laughs> so cool in that movie, guys! I've also noticed Electro doesn't show up as much in stuff like games and movies. Yeah, uh, Electro... Electro's kind of underused, yeah. I feel like he got a bit of a bad stigma around him because Amazing Spider-Man 2 was a bad movie, and so people were like, eh, we don't really want to use Electro. Which kind of sucks, because there's a lot of potential with a villain who's like... You know, pure electricity. I always thought Electro was neat. No, yeah, like... Man, Spider-Man Far From Home. Hello. Lara, what's your favorite Spider-Man villain? That's hard. That's I was telling, real hard. I was explaining to chat why I love Mysterio and the Lizard. Those are my two favorites. I'm thinking... Mysterio is probably my number one. Hmm. What about Doctor Strange's visuals at the beginning? Doctor Strange is my favorite MCU superhero, so there you go. I just like trippy visuals. It's a hard I would choice, say, though, I would say my favorite Spider-Man villain is. Um, can I choose specific interpretations? Yeah, go for it. 
either Otto Octavius from Spider-Man PS4 or the Lizard slash Venom from Spectacular Spider-Man. Okay, that's absolutely fair. Spectacular Spider-Man has my favorite version of the Lizard. It's just so good. I do not want to do this boss. <laughs> I don't want to do it. We have to do it eventually. Let's just get it over with and then we can go fight the Hot Mermaid. Uh, yeah. The Hot Mermaid will be our victory lap. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Sir Paradise hasn't showed up. I, I'm honestly surprised too. But you know, that's probably for the better. Oh my god. Oh, this fight is just so noisy. <laughs> this is honestly one of my least favorite fights in the entire game. It's just there's so much. It's so busy. It's so hard for me to see what's going on. From a game design standpoint, I think the the actual like physical background of the level is is not good at all for this type of like it's charming that it's a honeycomb background because haha bees, but also it's so visually noisy that it makes the fight horrible. Yeah, it really does. Um, also, also I'll, I'll take uh, your super Zach, cat in a minute. Sorry? What? With with the actual queen bee, like, listen, hear me out. Uh-oh. <laughs> hear me out. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say, is just uh -oh. hear me out. You know what, there are worse takes. Listen... Hey, 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 hey! That was me. That was me being on your side. That, there okay. are worse takes. There are worse takes. She, she kind of thick. <laughs> ah! Man, she's a bee. That's why. <laughs> I mean, come, come on. No, 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 no. You're, you're absolutely valid. Oh god, I hate this part. So here, um, if I win somehow or I uh, fail this attempt, um, <laughs> I just gotta do something real, real quick. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just be back in one quick second. Okay. Okay, well, Random Calamity, that's your choice. I am just choosing to be happy. Hildeberg is leaked better than Honey Bottoms. Well, guess what? That was one of my takes, too. Is that I, I think I think Hildeberg is, is also a wood character. Oh, yeah. Also, hey, Angel Kitty. Hi, there we go. How's it going? I'm, I'm doing well. Lara, our queen. Oh. Okay, let's go. T <laughs> sexual. Shut up. I'm just sexual in general. Have you guys not learned this? I think they learned. At least I'm not a minor. Looks at the baddest. Bear. Ah, no! It's also so hard to, like, help people uh, whenever, like, you, uh, whenever, like, one of them die in this. Coco Gojira, uh, says, Lyra, pretty sure would smash Barry if he does it. No. No. No, I would not no. smash Barry Seinfeld. Somebody said, Beppy the Clown, please listen, I'm not crazy, I swear. Okay, I can accept that take. Beppy has some appeal. I don't agree, but, you know what? Valid. No, like, if you're clown sexual or something, Beppy has appeal. Pastor, what's your favorite Marvel villain? Okay, okay, Doctor Doom sweeps. Doctor Doom is awesome. Honestly, I think the Fantastic Four is marginally cooler than the Avengers, I'll say it. Thank you! Oh my god, you're right. Shit. Like, I don't- I do not keep up with Marvel comics in the slightest. You guys gotta understand that. The only two Marvel, like, the only two, like, Marvel series I keep up with is Spider-Man, and I read, like, any and all comics that have Doctor Doom in them. Also, 
Batman villains are way better than Spider-Man villains, don't at me. Oh, well, I mean, you're just right. Um, but no, like, friggin' Doctor Doom cemented himself as one of my favorite comic book characters ever. In this one comic where, um, literally, like, you know, maybe some people in this chat will even have read this comic. Um, but, like, he literally managed to absorb the power of, like, the gods, right? He was able to absorb the power of a- Get back over here! Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Get back over here, dad! Are you really gonna pit Venom in, against the entirety of Batman's villains? His his entire rogues gallery? How many of Batman's villains are super powered? Bane oh! obliterate Venom! Uh, wait, 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 wait. Zach, how many of Batman's villains are super powered? Rachel Ghoul, Bane. Rachel Ghoul. Uh, Bane. there's Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Uh, let's see here. What other ones can I think of? Um... Okay, well, technically, Venom isn't either by that logic, because he's an alien. By that logic, because it's just the brought with the symbiote. The symbiote. So? If, if Venom can be explained through science, Venom then Venom doesn't have superpower either. Venom doesn't have superpowers. Why not? Right. Okay, Rhino. Rhino's just a buff guy. Right. <laughs> you heard Zach. Wait, no, no, no. Come back. Rhino's just a buff guy in a first. My dad left because he knew he's wrong. Good. Good. <laughs> ba it's not that Batman's, Batman's villains are like sh like stronger by any means. It's just the fact that they're more interesting to ah, me. Ah shit! Chat's right. I should have said Clayface. Ven dad, Clayface. <laughs> yeah, it gets destroyed! He, he said, oh my god. I heard him! Get destroyed! Clayface hold on, sweeps! Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Technically, Darkseid is a Batman villain. Ah, that's a stretch. He's more of a Justice League villain, but Batman's fought him solo. I was, I was gonna say, by that logic, Thanos is a Spider-Man villain. Oh, you know, that's true. I just think, like, other than Venom and maybe Green Goblin, I think Batman's villains are just more interesting and complex. Batman's villains, Batman's villain, like, Spider-Man's villains definitely do have some complexity, but Batman's villains, for the most part, are, like, built around the actual, like, psyche of the characters themselves. And, like, that yeah. is what defines them rather than, um, you know, like, their powers. Killer Croc is... I, it depends on the version. It depends on the version. Because in some interpretations, he's just a buff guy with a skin condition. And in other versions, he's like an actual freaking reptile. Oh yeah, wait, Dad, Poison Ivy! Oh yeah! Poison Ivy, Firefly, Clayface, Killer Croc, Solomon Grundy. There's there are one. plenty. There are plenty. Do you count Mad Hatter? Because he can do mind control. Oh yeah, and then technically Mad Hatter, true. I mean, like, it's with something he invented, but I mean, like... I mean, he can still do mind control and stuff. Hey, 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 look, chat, Lyra's dad started this fight. We're just the ones winning. <laughs> Which is not usual for when me and him do this. That's because I got- that's because I'm backing you up on this. God, you gotta be around more often. Shit. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Why does that sound like Cleveland Brown? No, 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 no. Nasty, nasty. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, some people are also saying Deathstroke. Oh yeah, you know who's another fucking superpowered Batman villain? Blight. Yeah, and Blight's awesome. Blight's awesome. Not many people really are. I, I don't think many people are gonna know Blight though, because I well, actually, chat, chat. If you if you watch Batman Beyond, you're awesome. Um, 
if yeah, anyone, true. If anyone chats watch Batman Beyond, Blight is awesome, isn't he? Blight is the coolest. Okay, who would solo though, Blight or Venom? That's actually a really good question. I mean, I think Blight would win because I feel like Blight's powers would be a counter to Venom. Oh yeah, because isn't the symbiote like really um really vulnerable to heat? Yeah, their two weaknesses are ultrasonic sounds and heat. So Blight would kind of sweep. Okay, so Blight's just cooler than Venom is what you're saying. Yeah, what I'm saying is Blight is awesome and Batman Beyond is great. I'm sorry, I suck at this fight. I, I suck at this fight too. As shown what here, even is this fight? This this fight is just doing too much. <laughs> yeah, you, you, to anyone in chat who doesn't know who Blight is, look him up. He's so badass. He's the it's he's a, the main villain of Batman Beyond. There's a clip with Blight and Batman Beyond where Barry's like, "Do you want to know who I am?" You killed my father, and Blight just says, Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? No, you see, the best- you, you, you always- whenever you, you always miss out on the best part of the scene, which is the fact that when he says that, Blight takes, like, a good, like, <laughs> two seconds to process the question, because you can tell he's actually trying to think about it for a minute, and he got nothing. And, like, when he says it, too, he doesn't say it like, you know, he doesn't say it like he's trying to be cool or edgy. He is just genuinely annoyed because it's not helpful. <laughs> like, he, he's not saying it like, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? He's like, do you have the slightest idea how little that helps? Like, <laughs> he's just kind of mildly annoyed. Blight is the Blight Sweep, honestly, Blight Sweep. He's such a good villain. Also, Dreams of an Insomniac Sweep. Oh my god, yeah, Dreams of an Insomniac? Uh, yo, if you man. haven't watched the new episode, you should, you know? Yeah, if, if y'all in chat haven't watched the new Dreams of Insomniac episode, Family Photo Album, you really should. It's the one that me and Lyra are the most proud of in the whole series so far. Also, um, if anyone in chat has watched um, Baz's channel, or Baz is Not Real, or Bazamala, he always changes his name. Uh, today he did a reaction video on some uh, analog horror stuff, and he actually watched. Uh, he actually watched the new video. Also, oh my god, wait, the, the five gifted memberships. My god. Wait, pause. One. Yo. Also, there's some super chats I did not read yet. Um, so it's good that you got me uh pausing it. Uh, Emily <clears throat> Gorgord, hot take. Rumor is one of my faves. Fair enough. Uh, I just don't like her. Um, last donation for the day, I'm gonna use regular chat. Thank you so much for all your donations, Coco Gojira, that's awesome. Um, okay, okay, yeah. pass- okay, okay, pass your favorite ghost character in any media. Uh... Go- ooh, favorite ghost- I already know mine! I already know mine! I know yours too. Um, I'll let you say it whenever I think of what mine is. Uh... I really want to say Spooky from Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, because that's like my second favorite horror game, and she's adorable. And uh, then... Yeah, you know, oh. that's my answer, Spooky. And then my answer would be Lisa from PT. I knew it was either going to be that or Ghost Freak. You know what? Yeah, that's a that's a good... God, you know me too well. <laughs> I knew it was one of those two. There's also another one. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know I have another ghost character that I really like. I know there's other ones I like too, and I'm just blanking. Spooky is definitely my number one choice, though, because she's adorable. I, oh my god, it's so funny. I saw someone someone in chat was like, I need to look up what, who Blight is, and they just came back to chat saying, Oh my god, Blight is so cool! <laughs> also, you're not gonna understand this, Zach, but actually another one of my favorite ghost characters is Mechagodzilla. Huh? Wait. Do you mind minor spoilers for Godzilla movies? I mean, yeah, I don't really mind. In the Millennium series, Mechagodzilla is powered and operated by the ghost of the 1954 version of Godzilla. Okay, that's badass. One of my oh. favorite ghost characters ever. He's so fucking cool. By that logic, can I say Bonnie from FNAF? You know what? You 
you could. You second very choice. well could. Second choice, Bonnie from the Five Nights at Freddy's Wait. series. We have to do the Editing Golden Freddy thing. Oh my god! You're right! You're right! You're right! Okay, chat, chat. Okay, we, will, we, we have to be... Exactly. We, we have to be as non-partisan as possible. Yeah, we will We will be non-biased, non-partisan. Okay, we, I swear we will do another attempt at this boss fight in a minute, chat. But Lyra and I had told each other that before this stream, we wanted to get your guys' opinion on something, okay? Yep, we're, we we're factoring in chat. We wanted to factor you guys in because Lyra and I were having a very long discussion about this. I am not- we are, we, we are going to make sure that we do not voice any of our bias. We are going to make sure that you guys do not know which one of us, um, which one of us, uh, said- like, says what in this. Let me- let me lay out the groundworks, okay? Lyra and I, the other night, were in a VC and we were messing around with hypotheticals. The hypothetical in question was the question of if you had to choose one Five Nights at Freddy's character to defend you while the rest tried to kill you, which one would be the ideal choice? And the debate basically began to go into the direction of two characters, one that Lyra believed would be the ideal choice and one that I believe would be the ideal choice. So here is the logic for both. The two choices that we were arguing were Ennard and Golden Freddy. Here's the logic, chat, okay? Here's the logic. <laughs> um, we were basically okay. saying that okay, in, in the Twisted Freddy One's book, we see that animatronics it. that are possessed with souls are extremely powerful. We see this in the Twisted Ones, when the FNAF 1 characters, <laughs> these cute little plushy guys, are able to just rip to the Twisted animatronics so to absolute shreds. And that's not a thing it's of their rain. endoskeletons, because the goes. physical structure of a standard showbiz or um, pizza time theater endoskeleton would not be able to support that kind of weight and force. As it w it, it's basically, it boils down to the physical power of the soul is enough to make the animatronic that strong so we determined that both remnant and then just a straight up soul possessing it is what gives it that sort of power so by that logic that we ruled with we had basically come to the conclusion that by that logic ennard would be insanely powerful because ennard because has is an amalgamation of not only elizabeth afton's soul but it's just this big, massive blob of a bunch of, like, remnant from all the fun time animatronics. Which we also determined that basically what, what happened with the fun times, and you guys can debate us on this, we, you know, it, it's... For this discussion, we are saying that the fun times basically have a remnant soup from the souls that possess the toy animatronics. So, when put together... It is the remnant from five different souls combined with, or sorry, it's the remnant from four different souls combined with the actual full soul of Elizabeth Afton. And also, I see some people in chat saying blob. We did talk about the blob um, in this discussion. The reason we ended up ruling that Ennard would be a better choice than the blob is because, first of all, the blob is a creature that is made up entirely of, like, agony from what we know. And, and Agony um, is less powerful than Remnant. Agony is less potent and powerful than Remnant is. And also, we don't <laughs> know for a fact how many souls are in. Like, we don't we don't know how much of that stuff is in the blob. For all we know, it's less than it looks like, because it just collects a bunch of random parts. So, in fact, I would, I would beg that the blob is entirely powered by Agony if we factor in the ending to Pizzeria Simulator, because... If any part of that ending still matters, it should be the fact that all of the souls physically died, which means that the only thing that's actually powering the blob is the residual agony. And you see, Infomaniac, you said we don't know that for sure. That's why the blob was ruled out. We cannot have a discussion like this if we don't, if we aren't working with like, you know, conclusions that we're able to actually come to. If we're, if we're working too many with like small hypotheticals, it's hard to come to a conclusion. That's why the blob's been ruled out. So, with that said about Ennard. Ennard would be this, like, friggin' super-powered, like, one-punch-kills-you monster. Moving yeah, because over to Golden if, Freddy. Yeah, because if, if one 
think of this, if one soul placed it in the FNAF 1 animatronic can rip apart uh, the Twisted Ones, then basically five souls within Ennard would be able to, like, what Zack said, basically turn him into fucking Saitama from One Punch Man. So, moving on to Golden Freddy, though, Golden Freddy's an interesting case. Because Golden Freddy, depending on which theory you believe, is either one soul or is two. So in terms of a raw power, Golden Freddy wouldn't be a match for Ennard. But here's the thing. Golden Freddy has weird sort of teleportation, weird ghost powers, right? The Golden Freddy is able to vanish and reappear at will. And we know from FNAF 2 that he is a physical thing that can kill you. So here's the thing, right? Sure, Ennard has a lot of raw power, but Golden Freddy, who is considerably weaker in terms of raw strength, has weird powers that would make it incredibly hard to kill him. So, chat, with all this explaining done, I beg you the question. Wait, before, before you beg the question, I also want to say, for this discussion, we factored in the fact that when Golden Freddy phases in, he is a tangible object that can be hit. And we also factored in the fact that since Ennard is made of galvanized wire, he can detach that wire and and strike multiple places at once. He's not a solid thing where his structure is just completely intact, like arms, legs, and all that stuff. He can, like, sort of um, un unfurl his wires to be able to... Uh, kind of hit multiple targets at once. Not completely detach them from his body, but almost make them act like the tentacles that are on the blob where they can just kind of smack shit. No, Bonnie cannot also teleport. We are not going by in-game logic. In FNAF VR, we see him walking. Golden Freddy literally phases in and out of existence. Bonnie does not count by this. So, and also, that is, yeah, Ly Lyra makes a good point. So, with all that logic brought up, with all of the rulings brought up between these two characters... We, me and Lyra were basically at a standstill because one of us was arguing for one of these characters, the other was arguing for another. So... And they seem pretty evenly matched, is the thing. Leaving it up to you guys, who would you choose out of these two? If these two characters were to, like, fight, who do you think wins? Golden Freddy or Ennard? I'm putting up the poll now. Who wins? Who, who wins? Golden Freddy or Ennard? Who solos? Who wins? All right, all right, all right. It seems pretty. It seems pretty one-sided right now. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Wait. Wait. It's starting. It's starting to even out a little bit. Yeah, starting yeah, even yeah. out a little bit. As more votes come in. All right. So we've got like a sixty-forty split right now between the two. Well, let's see how many votes we got. We got we got 368 votes currently. 379. It's getting closer, but one is still clearly winning over the other. It's too hard, someone said. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry if I'm making you guys rack your brains too much about this. It's just that this is a debate Lyra and I had a while, for a while, and we were we were very invested in it, so we wanted to know what you guys think. All right, so it looks like it's starting to look like it's evening out. Like, this is starting to look like, you know, the, the final results. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer um, just to just to see if we can get, like, the, the definitive thing. But it looks like it's pretty easy to see who's winning this. Um, all right, so. Okay, I think, I think, I think it's pretty clear who wins this. So I'm going to end this poll. Um, you guys decided that Ennard would be the winner. Um, it is time I reveal that I was the one arguing for Golden Freddy and Lyra was the one arguing for And I was for the one arguing for Ennard. Yeah! Yeah, so, uh... I, I... I can... I can see... I can see why you think Ennard would win. Um, I think Golden Freddy could win just because, like... Golden Freddy is just capable of literally becoming intangible for a bit. Like, he is just this... 
He is just this, like, ghostly entity that just appears and disappears at will. I feel like, despite the fact that Ennard has all the raw strength, Golden <laughs> Freddy could just avoid everything. Golden Freddy seems to be able Okay, to but that's the, the thing. Others. Not only is Ennard shown to be incredibly agile, but I think... And and you can you can discount me on this. I think Ennard would be legitimately more intelligent than Golden Freddy. I mean, yeah. By default, he would be. And also, so he would probably find a way to fake out or trick Golden Freddy often enough that he could get decent hits in when Golden Freddy was phased in. And also, here, uh, I'm going to read some super chats. Uh, I would pick Blob by default. Again, fair enough. We rolled him out. Uh, thank you for your super chat. Hi, Pastra. Hello, Detective Ruby. Thank you. Ennard also has baby's brain, can, can body swap, and isn't ran on pure rage. That's also actually a really fair point. Like, genuinely. Um, thank you for your super chat. Golden Freddy seems to be able to control the others. Um, I don't remember that, but yeah, that if, if that was the case, that would also be a fair point. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you for humoring us, chat. Um, I'm glad we have that settled. Um, let's get back to fighting this boss. <laughs> Man, we had it real good for a second. Ah, oh, shit, 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 fuck. <laughs> now it's back to this hell. <sighs> Golden Freddy gets Sam's energy from that. Golden Freddy does give Sans energy. All it would take is one hit to kill him, but good luck hitting him. Also, um, my dad made another argument towards Marvel villains. What's that? Morlin. Morlin? Yeah. So, uh, I don't even mean this as an insult, who? <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me go to his Wikia page. I literally don't even mean this to be like... Oh yeah, that character's so irrelevant. I genuinely don't know who that is. Like I said, I do not keep up with Marvel um, villains or just Marvel in general. Marlin is a supervillain from Marvel Comics, primarily an enemy of Spider-Man. He is an inheritor, a vampiric being who feeds on the mystical energy. Hold on. Uh, Dra uh, wait. Sorry. Uh, he's one of a family of energy draining them group known as the Inheritors. Having taken over Earth Zero, uh, Loom World, Morlin and his family attacked the mystical being known as the Master. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Ready. Okay. Uh, however, um, when his younger brother Karn hesitated, their mother was struck down by the Weaver, erased from existence. Because of this, the family is splintered apart. During his travels, he ended up on Earth 616 and soon targeted one of its heroes, namely Spider Man. Okay. Okay. So he's he's an energy draining, super powerful vampire that took over one of the alternate universes in the Marvel uh, comic books. Okay, he sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Here's a real high class I really don't know much about Marvel villains though, and even him being a Spider-Man villain is funny because Spider-Man's like the only Marvel hero I keep up with in any way, shape, or form. Maybe the maybe the MCU has just like drained me of of Marvel in general, and so I'm 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 more uh, sort of um, I guess drained on the villains just because I I don't like modern Marvel content. I also just think Marvel has worse villains than DC in general. Marvel has some good villains, but like not as consistently good. I think. Oh my god! Somebody made it. Uh, somebody made a tweet saying, "If you could choose the next fan vs. waves, what game would you choose and why?" I don't know. I'm just curious and want to see everyone's personal picks for fan games. Uh, and somebody picked Sinister Turmoil, uh, Pyro Illusion, this one called. Uh, oh, I think the abbreviation is OL, but I don't know what that stands for. And then Analog is the fourth one. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Did you see that uh, there was clips so from, like, know, Analog stuff used in the most recent Dags video? What? Yeah, um, Dags was talking about, um, Dags was talking about, um, this one game. 
I forget the name of it. It was like a ripoff of I'm a Observation Duty. And he was talking about stuff from the fan community, and he was using footage of Analog as his example when he was talking about good examples of FNAF fan work. What the f- He never messaged me about this. Yeah, he did it though. The I, fuck? Was I was watching it while I ate yesterday, and I forget, like, <laughs> I stopped eating for a minute. I'm like, it... oh, not Analog Freddy! Is it the horror game that copied everything? Yeah, that's the one. He uses okay. Analog footage in it. It's a really good video, why, too. I don't know why I'm not subscribed to Dags. Let me hit that button right now. I watch I watch most of my friends' content, like, the day they upload. Oh, let's go! She's It's over, it's over. She's dead. Oh my god. No, oh my god, yay! Dude, me when, me when Dags uses fucking analog footage. Master, how much do you hate Garten of Ban Ban? That is Infinitely. a loaded question. Garden of Ban Ban is among my two least favorite games ever made. Because, sure, there are worse games, but none that get attention. Why do we give attention to such an ass game with such little passion behind it and such lack of talent behind its development? Why do we do that? It's not like the people who let's play the game actually enjoy it. Everyone hates it. Uh, Everyone makes memes out of it. But even then, the memes... <laughs> The memes are not even that funny, I'ma be honest. Bird Up was funny for like a day. Like why why are why why is it that all you have to do to make money nowadays as a horror game developer is just slap some random blob on the game and then say that's like your main monster? Like, you know, most of my friends who played Garden of Ban Ban 2 on release day literally refunded it the day after. Or not even the day after, the same day after the stream was done. Why are we giving money I to still, people who I very still clearly think, don't give a shit? Best I still think the Pila bird is kind of funny. I don't. I'm sick of seeing that stupid bird. Also, our reward for beating it is the Hot Mermaid, so let's go. It's still gonna be real hard. Yeah. But you know what? I'm willing to stick around for a while. <laughs> I will go, I will go, I will go, I will go. If we get stuck on this one, I won't mind. Ow. Yeah, literally, people God, were playing- I love her so much. I do too. People were literally like, so many of my friends who played Garden of Ban Ban literally refunded on release day. And I'm like, guys, why are you playing it then? <laughs> like, if it's so bad I, that you I refunded remember. at the end, why are you freaking streaming it? It's just making the money and you very clearly think it's an ass game. I remember the genuine, like, challenge for Phil's stream was if he could beat it in in a low enough time to where he could refund it. Like, I don't- like, I, I have so much respect for all my friends who played the game. Do not get me wrong. And it's even right? more insulting like, because Phil Morgan is Phil Morgan, it's five dollars. Because con is it really worth it, though, if you hate it? Is it really worth it? And just the fact that Garden of Ban Ban is popular enough that you get a lot of views for making videos on it, and that's the reason people continue to make videos on it? Actually, how? Genuinely, how? I have made a genuine point of not making any content on the game, because, like, I literally- it, it's all the game has. Without that, it'll just fade into obscurity, and that's what I want, because it's so ass, and has such little passion behind it, and it's so poorly made. Like, why don't we just support games that have actual passion behind them, and, you know, aren't terrible, like, genuinely bad? God, I am frothing at the mouth so hard right now. Easy content? Is it easy content? Freaking Docco hated it! Docco! When's the last time you heard Docco talking badly about a game? Seriously, rack your brain. Try to think of a game that Docco hates. He he took so... Like, his playthrough of Garden of Ban Ban 2, it was so apparent he hated that game. Why are we playing it then? Also, am I about to beat her first try? Don't say that. Why would you say that? I'm at three hearts, Lyra, and this is the final phase. You are setting yourself up for something. Oh yeah, look, it was victory. Oh my god! I was setting myself up for what? <laughs> victory. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed Hot Mermaid while she lasted, because we only got one attempted at Hot Mermaid. <laughs> See, Goddamn like I good. said, I play better when I'm angry. I play better when I'm angry, and nothing makes me angrier than that stupid abomination of a game, Garden of Ban Ban. 
<laughs> Literally, Angel, rage Jackson fuels me. I get stronger the angrier I am. Alice Angel, Roxanne, Wolf, or Calamaria. Yes. Um, it's like how people watch videos of car crashes. Um, sure. <laughs> out of the three, I would probably it's like how people watch it'd be a it would be a very close tie between um, Alice Angel and Calamaria. For me, the answer actually is wait, yes. no, Calamaria because she's she's giant. That's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, cute mermaid lady from Gaming Age. Thank you, Gaming Age. Um, best Skylanders villains. I love the Doom Raiders. It may be it may be the basic answer, but I love Chaos. He's voiced by Invader Zim. Um, <laughs> but just so you know, Chica's Magic Rainbow beats both of them either way, slash J. Okay, fair enough, honestly. I can... If there's any Gorillaz fans in chat, I'm just gonna make chat really angry for a second and say that Plastic Beach and Humans are the best albums, don't at me. I have nothing to contribute to that conversation, I haven't listened to enough <laughs> of the albums. I know chat's gonna fucking kill me. <gasps> Her! Who's your favorite Sonic character? Mine's Metal Sonic. If you if you followed my Twitter for more than a day, you would know for a fact that my favorite character is Amy Rose. She is the best. She's my number one comfort character. Maybe we should start talking about Garden of Bam Bam again so we can speedrun this one too. <laughs> somebody said now humans? Said yes, humans. Peep somebody fucking tricked the entire fandom into thinking humans was mid. Fuck y'all. Humans is awesome. Now see if that angry fuel carries through Cal. Oh, man. I won't even need to be prompted with that one. Cal's just an infuriating boss in general. No, but like, seriously, I, I remember I remember when Garden of Bam Bam 2 released, even. There was people on Twitter who were getting angry at me for, like, shit-talking the game. Or, like, there was people who were, like, confused why I was so upset at the game. And it's like... If there is a single defender of Garden of Bam Bam that isn't ironic and isn't doing it for the memes. I really hope that they play a good game for once in their life. I really, really hope that, like, that just means it's the only game they've ever experienced and they are an infant. And, you know, if you oh, like Garden of Bam Bam uh, and this seems overly cruel, I apologize, but what is wrong with you? Oh, wait. Wrong button. Shit. Oh. I swear to God, her fan always gets me. You literally <laughs> run with it and then stop moving once you're standing right on top of it. Incidentally, which is even funnier. You. <laughs> I said this to fill but see therapy. No, no, I don't intend to. No, I'm fine. The only therapy I need is for Garden of Bam Bam to stop getting attention from people on the internet so it can fade into obscurity and we stop giving money to incompetent devs. Which is rich coming from me, the guy who defended Security Breach, but at least those guys gave a crap. I also- I also think this boss is... slightly wood? What? Question- that's- that's like wood with a question mark. Oh, but the B- the B is a definite. Well, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I never told you I had traditional tastes. You know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I like monsters, dude. I'm no better. Also, I just killed her husband. Well, that's, uh, mm. She's just a white woman. No! Oh, and now she's a nun. why I'm still using the chaser for this fight. I don't- I do not need it. We should have swapped our weapons before going in here. I'm yeah. going to- yeah, that's just unfortunate placement. <laughs> yeah. Garden of let's uh, let's- let's- chapter, let's uh, which go back to the map. Die soon. And Garden of Bam Bam released its second chapter, which means it won't die soon. And you know- you know what? Okay, Hot okay, man. okay. Dalton, hi! Okay, can I say something real quick, too, about Garden of Bam Bam's second chapter? Which, like, okay, this is absolutely just me being salty. 100%, okay? I'm going to get that right out of the way. Right out of the way. 
I want you all to know that I am just extremely bitter in this moment, and I'm very, very petty. Garden of Ban Ban 2 released on the same day as my new Dreams of an Insomniac installment, and because of that, it is the worst performing video on my channel right now. And it is probably the best installment in the series so far. Actually, no, I can confidently say it's the best installment in the series my so far. Anything will stunt. Again, this is absolutely just me being salty. But they released it on the same day as my friggin' new DOAI video, and it is doing awful because of it. Because everyone was watching Garden of Ban Ban stuff yesterday. Everyone. Everyone was watching Hell, Garden of Ban Ban. Hell, I was on a Garden of Ban Ban stream the day it released. Because you were? Isaac had me on for a bit. Oh, I didn't know. I, I felt like I should keep her company because she was doing that for 12 fucking hours. That's absolutely fair, yeah. Um, Poor girl. Yeah. Literally, Garden of Bam Bam 2 <laughs> screwed over a freaking entry in my passion project. And I will never, never get over that. It is absolutely just petty on my part, and I do not care. I I just walked right into her. <laughs> I know I saw that. Hi, pastry, hi, liar, how? New Poppy Playtime thing also came out on that day, but also nobody gave a shit about that because Bar Garden of Ban Ban somehow beat out the Poppy Playtime thing, which is funny because that's the game it's written it off. It, and it was kind of mid, honestly. I watched it. I didn't. It was all right. I was too busy being in my little brooding corner of rage. Like, DOAI videos already underperform on my channel as is. I do not need Garden of Ban Ban to make it harder. Is it that game just exists to spite me? Oh no, the father, he's in the background scared. Oh, I cannot save you. It's alright. It's like I can't be safe from her. Okay, ban ban. Dies. Ban ban. Farting of can can. Even some of my friends who like liked the original Garden of Ban Ban, I, like ironically, hated the second one. I hope that just means that the third one will be such a horrible failure that the developers will just abandon it as a project. I think I think the thing that makes Garden of Ban Ban two unsuccessful is the fact that it actually tries. Yeah, actually, the original was a so bad it's good. Now that's just a so bad it's bad. God, I hope it's a big enough failure that they'll never make another sequel again, and I mean that. I honk n nobody, nobody who has actual passion for the project they're working on teases the friggin' third, like, like tells you to friggin' wishlist the sequel the day the friggin' game comes out. That is and not- also, And like, also, I don't know a single person other than Isaac who didn't refund the game immediately after they got it. Oh, well, Theft King didn't. Oh, well, of course fucking Theft King didn't. <laughs> right? But, like, literally, like, I, I'm sorry, but there is no way in hell you're passionate about your game if the day it comes out, you announce the sequel, and you add stuff to its merch store. Like, literally, no like, way. the closest thing I will ever do to that is the fact, like, there's going to be a merch line for Cryptid Sign after the day that Masks of Man released, but, like, it's different because it's an album. I don't give a shit band, if you make and bands merch. Just like, do that. I don't give a shit if you make merch. Go ahead, make merch. Merch is cool. But, like, when it's that hollow, and it's for something that garbage, and the only reason said thing exists. Oh, I'm gonna die. When the only reason something exists. How the hell do you is, avoid that? You're supposed to parry over it, but I wasn't thinking. Uh... But, like, when the only reason something exists is for the purpose of selling merch, and everything else is oh, ass... I reason. swear to god. I knew that didn't cover Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 other than the fact that I didn't like it as much. I thought it was slightly better. I just- I just thought, like, the actual final part was weaker. There was literally nothing I could say about Chapter 2 that I didn't already say in my original Poppy Playtime video. Because all of the stuff it does right is the exact same as Chapter 1, because it's just retreading the same ground. Fair.
Garnet Ban Ban. I, I feel like Garnet Ban Ban is too bad and boring to complain about. Honestly, like, yeah. I'm sitting, I've am i been sitting here complaining about it because of the fact that it actually gets attention despite the fact that it's so blatantly awful. Like, it infuriates me the fact that, like, something can be so downright, like, offensively bad, and yet somehow we still give it attention despite the fact. Like, if you look at other mascot horror games that get super popular, I know stuff like Bendy and Poppy Playtime have problematic devs behind them, right? And people complain about the devs. But, like, unless it's, like, the original Bendy's later chapters, usually those games have some level of quality. So there's the whole thing of, like, do you buy the game? that is, like, you know, pretty decent and support developers who you don't like? Or do you not? Like, it, it, it's more it's more of an interesting discussion. And I feel like there's more to talk about with those games. Well, with Garden of Ban Ban, the devs suck and the game sucks. There's nothing. Like, it's just so stupid. <laughs> I, I need to stop looking at chat when we're actually doing attempts. <laughs> Oh, God damn. more like a Roblox game than doors. Bruh. Bruh. 19 dollar Fortnite card. Whoa, oh shit, I'm back in the game. I got you. 19 dollar Fortnite card. Soulless game versus soulless dev. Exactly, right? Like, Bendy, like... You know, you know, you can say what you want about uh, Kindly Beast and that whole situation, but you cannot tell me that games like The Dark Revival don't prove there's passion. Security Breach? Really messy game. Really bad. Still has a lot of passion behind it. Poppy Playtime? I can even argue there is passion behind that, because the animation in that game is so immaculate. Um, the character designs are very clearly meant to be toys, <laughs> and the game is very clearly like a cash grab a lot of the time. But I mean, like, at least there's competency the behind it. The bird and you know what? So I will say, the actual merch for Poppy Playtime and the toys that I've seen look pretty fucking good. Yeah, you know, like, obviously I'm not buying any of them, but, you know, like, at least they're- Yeah, like, I've seen, them at, I've seen them at Target, and they look really charming. Like, the Garden of Ban Ban merch, most of it is just the logo for the game slapped on something, or, like, a really crappy-looking drawing of, like, a Pila Bird, because, you know, oh, yeah, the devs- Oh, Pila Bird became a meme, let's double down on it to sell toys, right? Let's make little- Oh, stupid little baby Opila Birds, because, oh, yeah. All the YouTubers will make cool thumbnails if we make Opila Bird. It's Which uh... is worse, Ban Ban or Hello Neighbor? Oh my god. Uh... Garden of Ban I Ban, actually, Ban is um... shorter. I, um, I made a, a rule with Abby uh, that... Cause, Cause, you know, there's the Garden of Ban Ban logo shit with like the shirts and stuff. And then me and Abby were just generally talking about the fact that Gorilla's t-shirts and merch are just always like promo art we've already seen just slapped onto shit. And it costs like a bajillion dollars. Um, so me and Abby have agreed upon... Oh, <laughs> shit, no. Well, I get to. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some Super stores. Chats and also I've got Have some you food played it? I'm gonna be eating for a little bit here. Um, but uh, the, the rule that we agreed upon is that when we make merch lines for Cryptid Synapse, always the designs on the shirts are going to be images that are basically exclusive to the merch line, like new artwork and shit like that that you haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Because, like, what the fuck other reason would you have to, you know... It's just kind of scummy to sell a shirt for that much when it's just something that was posted on Twitter or some shit and now it's just like stuck onto a shirt. Uh, I got a message in chat saying, I'm not defending the game, but it did have passion. Look at the commentary and how they made it. There was effort put into the design and the environment. If you're talking about Garden of Ban Ban, that's bullcrap. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's actually bullshit. So much effort put into those reused friggin' like store-bought assets. Um, I'm, I'm gonna read some super chats because there was a couple that I missed. Um... Uh, hi, Pastra. Hi, L <laughs> Oh, that's from Dalton. Uh, how are you? Um, I'm doing well, Dalton. I've been doing a lot of Doom rants. Um, I've been doing a lot of Doom rants about, uh, stuff that annoys me. But you know what? Passionate Doom rants, so I'm having a good time. Um, if I had one wish, I would wish Ban Ban never existed and replaced it with my dream horror game, The Joyful Haunting. Yeah, honestly, I'm sure whatever, I'm sure whatever you would make would be infinitely better. Um... 
Thank you for your super chat. Bam Bam looks I more like a Roblox game than Doors. Yeah, and Doors is really good. Doors is really, really good. If if I could have one wish, um, actually, Zach, I, I want to ask you this. Mm -hmm. This is, I bet this is going to be a really hard question. Would you sacrifice the Bendy franchise as 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 like a fucking sacrifice to bring back Hideo Kojima's Silent Hills. No, I would not sacrifice Bendy for that. I'm sorry, liar, but I like Bendy way too much. You see, that's what I thought you would say. So that's good. It's good. I'm sure that game would have been great, but I have too much of an attachment to Bendy, and I like that series too much for me to give it up for you know a really good game. Would Would you give up? Um. Would you give up se Security Breach? Yeah. Fair. I, I feel like for most of the FNAF community, I'd be doing them a favor. <laughs> Let's see, I'll reattempt another one in a second. I'm just reading chat and I'm also eating. Oh shit. Uh, I think you. Oh, I think you ended remote play. No, I didn't. It just cut it out for me. You might have lost connection, but I didn't end it. Yeah, I'll check in a second here. And also, yeah, I see people in chat asking if I'd make a video on Doors. Genuinely? I kind of want to. I've got a couple videos lined up that I'd like to work on. Um, I just feel like, I just feel like, uh, I, it would just become the question of what do I say about Doors that people haven't already said? Because there's some, um, there's some wonderful videos on Doors. Um, and I would just have to figure out how I would give my own little spin on it, you know? But I, I'd love to talk about Doors, because I'm going to be real. Y'all, y'all for a while were asking me to play Doors, and admittedly, admittedly, I was apprehensive to it because, you know, I feel like I have a bit of, like, this stigma with Roblox horror games because it's Roblox. And, you know, for the most part, I don't like Rainbow Friends. I don't like Piggy or those other Roblox horror. So when y'all were recommending me Doors, I at first was like, eh, I don't know. But genuinely, that game's way too good for Roblox, and I'm gonna say that straight up. That game is way too good for Roblox. It deserves to be on its own. Because, like, I feel like the developers behind that game are so talented that they would just get more if it was on another platform. And they deserve more. Like, the Roblox is just an awful company, and Doors deserves to be on a better platform. Um, my favorite, my favorite Doors entity, I feel bad for forgetting his name. I feel bad for forgetting his name because I don't know all the Doors entities. Um, off the top of my head. But, like, I think it's the one you encounter on door 50. Um, it's like the friggin', it's like, it's like the weird, like, friggin', like, meat-looking monster that has, like, a giant hole for a face. Uh, it, figure! That's its name. Figure. That one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. I love that thing. It's really, really cool-looking. I've never played Doors. Would you recommend? Lyra, 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 Lyra. Yeah? You and me do door stream sometime? Yo! First time playing Doors? You wanna play with me on stream sometime? Yeah! <laughs> I feel like you and me are gonna be a lot more free for streams from, for, like, the foreseeable future, just cause, Bam Bam, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna be stockpiling on new content, so you'll be and writing and recording, back. but other than that, um, if I'm correct, you're relatively free around this point, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey chat, do you wanna would you wanna see that? Would you watch me and Lyra would play you doors? See, would you wanna see a Lyra and Pastor Doors stream? You wanna see us play doors, guys? Oh, people seem to really like that idea, actually. People <laughs> really like the idea of that. Oh, it's oh it's going so fast. There's so many yeses. Okay, Lyra, you and me. I think next stream's gonna be doors. I think our next stream's gonna be doors. Woohoo! Cause you haven't played it, it's so good. You will be blown away by how good that game is. <laughs> Figure looks like a spore creature. So wait, so it gets is the premise up. of it just that you're going through some sort of labyrinthian place and each time you go through a door there's like a different monster? Think of it like this, right? Imagine Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, but it's randomly generated and the monsters you encounter are completely random except for some specific areas. Ooh. So the whole thing, the whole thing is every single run you do on doors, um, is completely different, 
And it's sort of like about trialing and erroring and learning how each uh, entity works. It's really fun. It's really, really fun. Also, I'm gonna read some more super chats. Um, and then I'm gonna, we can do another attempt here. Um, if you like Spookies, you'd love Doors. And Spookies is like my second favorite horror game ever made. Figure looks like a spore creature, so it gets a thumbs up from me. You're right, it does. Ban Ban has some dev hearing that, um, we're making stupid games for stupid kids line and going, I bet, ah, oh, yeah. Um, thank you for your subscription. Um, yeah, no, the, the last super chat was one of yours. Oh, I, I think I've also got some leftover Coke in the fridge for this. Now that, yes, I do. You might have to, uh, re-invite me to the thingy. Yeah, uh, I'll re-invite you here. Just one second. Yeah, no, chat, um, if you want to watch me and, um, if you want to watch me and Lyra play Doors, um, that'll absolutely be the next stream. Um, and hell- What just happened? And hell, um, I could probably make a video on Doors after that stream. Could have some fun- Hello? Hmm? What? What'd you say? W what's up? What, what? Lyra? Lyra? Hello? Lyra, can you hear me? I don't think Lyra can hear me, chat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, guys. Uh, oh, <laughs> Lyra said she thought her computer might crash. Lyra? Lyra? God, I think we're alone. She's been invited to- she's been invited back to Cuphead, but she ain't joining chat. I think we lost her. Oh no. So, uh... How are you guys doing? I love you, How you doing, guys? and Insomniac and your content. You're such an inspiration to me. Keep being creative. Thank you so much, Christian. Uh, Chris I'm, I feel so bad saying names like this because I don't want to butcher them. Um, Cristiano? I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry if I didn't. Um, thank you so much. That It means a lot to hear that. And I appreciate you uh, sending that super chat over. Um... So yeah, uh, Lyra, Lyra, um, I believe is having some te technical difficulties. I believe that's what she meant when she just randomly shouted. Um, she was worried this would happen. Um, so how you guys doing? Um, I'll wait for her to come back, I suppose. Um, I can just talk with y'all for a bit, uh, while she figures out her technical difficulties. I think I just got a message from her. Uh, did I just get a message from her? I did not. It was a DM from Gaming Age saying that he blames me for Lyra disappearing and that I'm a monster. Oh, uh, yeah, Lyra just actually disconnected from the call. We lost her. Um, hey, uh, guys, what's up? Um, you seem to really like the idea of a, uh, of a Doors, of a Doors stream and Doors video. I think that could be really fun. Um, could do some kind of like, uh, I, I'd have to think about what the subject matter of the video would be. Um, I, I think, I think actually... I think a really good idea for, um, a video on, uh, Doors, that would, wait, guys, somebody just shot a pipe bomb through my, what? Huh? Lyra! Lyra, no! Lyra, no! You gonna be okay, Lyra? You gonna come back? Also, please tell me that was a joke, Lyra! Like, that, that, was a, that was a joke, right, Lyra? 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 Lyra, you good? I'm waiting for her to show up in chat again. <laughs> best Cuphead game char versus best Cuphead show char. Okay, best Cuphead game character is, um is probably either Beppy or the Spirit Train, if you count them as a single character. And the show is Henchman. Also, Lyra! <laughs> you good?
Like chat, I'm all like chat, not gonna lie, I'm kinda like I'm kinda worried because I could like it's hard to tell it's hard to tell if she was joking or not through like text. Oh my god! Hi! Hi, Hi Mom, my eh? My, my uh, computer did the thing it likes to do sometimes where it like freezes and then crashes. My god! Okay. I know you were probably joking, but you had me concerned for a minute. <laughs> did you see the motherfucker in chat that just says, Do you have a crush on Lyra? Okay, what? Where? It was- it was up a bit. It was up. No. No, I don't. I <laughs> see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You had me concerned for a minute, because here's the thing, right? You sent a message that said, um... You sent a message- <laughs> or you didn't send a message. You- before you left, I just heard you go, OH MY GOD! And then you vanished, and then you sent that message, and I'm like, Lyra? Where the monster films you. If you're interested, <laughs> I'd love to see you Oh, that's evil. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you had me so worried for a minute there. I'm too okay, gullible. Uh, I will never do that again unless a pipe bomb actually comes through my window. Please. So if, I do that again, if I do that again, know that I have actually, like, come into physical danger. Please, like, I am bad. I am bad when it comes to, like, text messages without tone indicators. I'm telling you that right now. I am really I, bad at I, reading I, tone. I will not do that again. <laughs> yeah, my freaking chat terrified too. Uh, okay. Do you need a new invite? Yeah, let me start up Steam real quick though. Yeah, okay. Also, chat, how does. Oh, okay. How does. Okay, I, I, I'm brainstorming what I could potentially call a video on doors. Also, are you. What the, what the hell was that? It was like. You can see like the grid on Vito Tube for a minute. That was weird. Um. Okay, if I were to make a video on doors, how does a title like, um, I underestimated doors sound? And the whole video is talking about how, like, this whole time I've had, like, this really, like, strong predisposed, like, um, like, stigma when it comes to Roblox games and how that game sort of subjected it, or, uh, subverted, that's the word I'm looking for, expectations. I think that could be a good idea for a video title. That would bring something new to the table with it. A doorway to horror, that's an interesting one. Yeah. Just got also, I'm on Steam. Work. Door surpasses. So stream is a really door surpasses nice immediately. That's actually Gerard's not a really title either. Y'all are creative. Y'all are good at this. Especially Clyde's design. Uh, let me invite you. Yeah. Do yeah, super chat? Just go back from um, work. So seeing your stream is really nice surprise. Ooh. Your art is really brain scratching, especially Clyde's design. Thank you so much, Topaz. Ooh, wait. After the plush guy. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Right. That sounds like a really cool idea. Can you? Can you, uh, when you finish that video, can you DM me on Twitter or something? Or if you're not allowed to DM me on Twitter, try Instagram or, you know, there's the- If you're in the pastor Discord, you can straight up just message me. I don't fucking mind. What do you use That sounds aw- Dude, the idea of a whole series where instead of the main character filming the monster, the monster films you. That- that's fucking cool. That's that awesome. That is neat. Stalker type shit. Perfect blue. What do you use for your PNG tuber? Is it hard? I use VitoTube and it's not hard at all. Basically, it's this application. You set it up, you do you do a little chroma key, you set up a chroma key for it, um, and you put it in the corner. And basically, you you use it to mandatorily, um, or not mandatory, um, that's not the word I'm looking for. Manually, forgive me, I mess up words sometimes like that. Um, you use it to manually change the expression. So if I press one, this is the default. Two makes me sad, three makes me happy, four makes me like slightly displeased. Five is angry, and then I have all the different bendy versions for when I do bendy stuff. Also, did you, uh, did you get the invite? Did you invite me? I did. Oh, can you do it again? Yeah, sure. Also, like, g genuinely, Chad is coming up with some really good video title ideas where if I did a video on doors. <laughs> I- <laughs> Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited for the thought of doing a video on doors purely because everyone in the chat seems, like, really passionate about it, and I like the energy. <laughs> That's weird. I just clicked on the invite and it's not letting me do it. Hold on. Okay, that's weird. Little Nightmares kicks ass. I was saying this during Phil's stream. I love Little Nightmares 1. I never played Little Nightmares 2. And I got, How do I I got like the worst thing on the planet when I had the ending of Little Nightmares 2 spoil for me. I 
How doors unlock the secret to good horror? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea <laughs> either. Thank you for your super chat. Whoa, hello. Hey, Pistra. I adore your videos, and I've had this question in my head. Oh, Zach, I think it's happening again. Oh? Stream. Have you thought of making oh, no. a video on Nope? I'd love to hear your take on it. Oh, are you are you crashing again? <laughs> Uh, uh, please, 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 Um, okay, Detective Ruby, if you want to join the Pasture Discord, still hear me? um, I can still hear you. Uh, oh, no, please, okay. please, 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 please. I'm in limbo. Thank you. I'm becoming a YouTuber and We apologize for what's been basically a podcast <laughs> for a little bit, chat. You're talking to a dead woman. <laughs> we apologize for what's been basically like a podcast for the last bit, chat. Lyra's having technical difficulties. Please forgive us. Hi. How's it going? Try to invite that? me again. Hope okay. stream is going well. BTW, your art and art style look super cool. Also, Door I'm gonna read some super idea. chats, but Door there's, time loop. there's a situation. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I had a question in my head since, uh... I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts on Nope, yeah. Um, Nope? Okay, nope. Nope is probably the scariest movie I've watched Why is it not letting me click on it? Can you still hear me? Ah, oh, no, no, she can't- like... Huh? Can you hear me? What? Yeah, I can. Oh, you didn't respond when I asked the first time, so I thought you couldn't hear me anymore. No, because you're like, cutting out. Uh-oh. Nope doesn't seem scary, but I'm telling you, once you watch it, you'll change your mind. Nope is one of those movies where, like, they advertised it as being a completely different movie than what you actually go and watch. Um, oh, hi, how's the game so far? Hope stream is going well. By the way, you're in this, though. Looks super oh, cool. Oh, you, like you know why? Why? What's wrong? You know why it's not letting me do shit? <laughs> What's up? Last chat. But do you Project know Playtime is forcing itself to update. Oh my god. Right now, I was going to answer this question about the Discord server. Um, anyone who is asking about the Discord server, um, please forgive me for this, but you're going to have to be patient, and if you want to know how to get into it, you can wait till the end of the stream. I do not want... Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I obviously don't want to leave you guys to wait, but the thing is, um, anytime I advertise the Discord server um, during a stream, I always feel bad because then a bunch of people flood into the Discord server and it causes a lot of stress on my mods. So for the sake of their sanity, we have to wait till the end of the stream, if you don't mind. <laughs> um, again, apologies for the people who can't stick around till the end. I, I know, I know not all of you can stick around to the end, but that's just how I gotta do it to make sure that y'all, um, to, to make sure that the mods don't stress themselves out, because they're also the mods for my YouTube chat. I cannot believe that Project Playtime legitimately, like, ate my bandwidth. Yeah, that's insane. All right, try it one more time to see if I can actually do it now. Okay. There, wait. There you are. Please. Please. Come on. Come on, let me click it, please. Also, we got a super chat. Uh, Cuphead is my <laughs> special interest. I'm so happy to see you playing. Oh, we got another Most one. Sorry, I'll finish reading that in a moment, I promise. podcast hosted by you and Larry anyways. No need to apologize, lol. Terry, that is greatly appreciated. That is something I've genuinely thought about the best. Uh, thank you for your super chat. Uh, but Cuphead is my special interest. I'm so happy to see you playing it. If you have the DLC, I highly suggest the secret boss. It's my favorite. Okay, I know which boss you're talking about. Lyra's gonna love that. Lyra hasn't seen any of the DLC ZLC bosses yet. Don't spoil it. Don't yeah. spoil it, please. Once we once we finish the main game, Lyra and I are gonna do the DLC, and she's gonna get to experience all these bosses for the first time. So um, I hope you'll be able to be there for that. Uh, thank you so much for your super chat. Also, uh, are you actually in now? Uh, check. Okay. Um, try. <laughs> Oh, there you go, there you go. We got her back, we got her back, chat. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, somebody said podcastra. Yeah, people People were, People were. Uh, one of the super chats said that uh, people probably would like a podcast between the two of us. And it's funny, because I've considered being a part of a podcast multiple times uh, with multiple different people. Like over the span of like a oh, year. Oh, this is, this is so much more laggy. It's okay, it's okay, oh, it's, okay. No. it's okay, it's okay, we can do this, we can do this. Clutch? We clutch it, we clutch it. We're fine. Damn it. If anything, I'm not I distracted not this parry. time. 
I've had my opportunity to let, like, a lot of my friggin' rants out of my system, so, like, I feel like I can focus a lot more on the actual fight. <laughs> oh, come on, please. Uh, why'd she have to stay in the air for so long? She completely covered you up. stuff and I love the way you take things apart in your way of reading into things and such. Smiley face. Thank you so much, uh, S5s? S5s, is that how you say your name? Thank you so much, I greatly appreciate that, really. Have you ever played the park by Funcom? The park by Funcom? I have not! Is that a horror game? Because if so, I could look into it. It seems interesting. Thank you for your super chat, really appreciate it. Yo, uh, Zach, have you heard of, like, a kind of an up-and-coming analog horror series called Vita Carnes? Um, I know there were some people in the chat asking about it, but I didn't say anything because I haven't heard of it yet. Is it good? <laughs> um... Oh my god, I just saw that fucking Bon Bon film is playing Garden of Ban Ban 2 right now. Are you oh, fucking Oh, come on! Me? Come on, dude! Anyway, uh, Vita Carnis is... It, it, I, I would say it starts out a bit weak because it falls into some of the tropes where it uses like the text-to-speech voice and stuff. But it has a really unique premise and it uses practical effects. Ooh. And like, they're, they're pretty good for like... An independent series with like no budget, the practical effects are really decent. Well, you know and what? it's it's basically about uh it it almost reminds me a bit of Monument Mythos in the fact like it's exploring an alternate version of Earth where in somewhere in the nineteen forties a new species uh or like a bunch of new species spawned and they're classified as like the Vita Carnes. And basically what they are is these creatures who look like odd-skinned animals. They're just, like, meat creatures. And some of them almost look more like plants, but they're made out of fucking, like, meat. And it's Interesting. weird. But it's, it's, a, it's a really cool series, honestly. I'd love to watch it with you sometime, because I've only seen, like, one episode, and then I saw a video covering it. But uh, it, it looks really cool. That actually has me really interested. I've been itching to watch a good analog horror series recently. Also, we got yeah. another, some other super chats. I just want to make sure I read them all. Thanks for reading my message again. Love your stuff and I love the way um, you take on things. All right, I I I I read this one. I read this one. Thank you very much. Um, already listened to already listened to during work past your podcast. Okay, well you know if if you think this is good, then I mean hey maybe we could actually try and make uh make something like that in the future. That could be fun. I would I would love to do uh uh the podcastra. That could actually be like a fun side series to post on the channel with like you and me and then potentially having like guests on there every now and then. And we just, they would almost be like freeform pasture videos where we would choose a topic for the day and then just like talk about it and it would be related to horror. That actually could be really fun. Like take the opportunity I'm, to talk about I'm stuff scared. that I normally wouldn't get to talk about in videos. Because it would have our like little VTubers so it almost, and we would have like footage playing in the background so it would almost literally just be like a pasture video but unscripted. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that could be fun. Would y'all want to watch that? Obviously I'm going to be distracted by the game so I'm not going to be able to look at chat for a bit, but I can, I can look at chat out. Ooh, pasture, pasture would cast. Would y'all <laughs> watch that? Would y'all be interested in that? Something, something like maybe on the side alongside DOAI and regular content, just a fun little podcast between me and Lyra talking about shit. Y'all would like that? Okay, okay. I, I could get more into this, honestly. It'd be fun to just, like, have other people on there for it, too. Yeah. Because I know, like, um, one thing I really loved was when, like, uh, if y'all ever watch the channel Dead Meat, it's one of my favorites. Um, I know they have, like, a podcast that they do every now and then alongside regular content. And I adore their podcast. It's so much fun. Oh, hey, we actually made it to this place. The past cast. That actually has a fun name to it. I like that. Okay, see, I'm supposed to parry over it like that. Oh god, the lightning is so hard. How did I bring you back? Huh? You're alive again. How did I do that? No! How did I do that? <laughs> My screen froze for a solid like. Phase three podcast or even a horror oh, let's go. Minute. podcast with <coughs> Oh, I forgot there was a phase yeah, after that. <coughs> oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Okay, it's just it's just the umbrella though, right? It's just the umbrella and these flowers. Oh, the oh my god! I'm so scared! I'm so scared! Look out for the roses! I know! I know! I know! I know! I know! I know! 
It's so hard to hit. Please. Oh my god. I forgot this phase existed. Oh, I'm... Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Will you die? Oh my god, finally. Okay, okay, okay. I was so scared. Oh my god. Alright, let's go! Oh my god! Let's go! Mm. Oh. I was using my next move! Alright, we got only a couple bosses left for all three. Huh. I do- I don't want to go up here, because I want to save the spirit train for last. That's my favorite boss. Oh no. We either have, um, I think- I think our choices are either, um, it, it's, uh, either Werner Vermin, or it's, um, or it's Dr. Cow's Robot. Which, like, oh boy. Oh, we could do this running gun. I think we should do this running gun. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. It's so... Oh my god. If only you knew how, like, badly it was freezing and lagging right now. I mean, I can tell. I'm seeing you occasionally stop moving entirely. <laughs> you know what's funny? Dor's genre is adventure while the less scary ones like Rainbow Friends and Piggy are listed as horror like what well, oh. Yeah, okay. Rainbow Friends is hardly horror. I feel like it's just horror, so I feel like the only reason it's labeled as horror is because they'll get more kids playing it. I don't see anything horror about Rainbow Friends. There isn't even, like, anything remotely scary about those designs. Ah, shoot. Right, right, he is called the Phantom Express. I don't know why I keep calling him a spirit train. Literally my favorite boss in the game, but I can't remember his own name. Okay, I'm not, I just don't feel safe trying to jump over this guy. Okay, okay, live life on the edge, Lyra, go off. Okay, okay, I'll do the same. Oh, I like the tiny little guy, he's got a squidward face. Should I sleep? I mean, if you're tired, yes. The, the, the stream VOD will be here. Uh, the stream VOD will be here if you leave. I make all my VODs public now that YouTube actually has the, like, live option. Ah, uh, shoot! Why didn't I parry? Why didn't I parry? Oh no! Ah! No, Lyra's mic did not die. Lyra was focused. I'm focused on trying to like play through the lag. And you have you have the settings set to fast? Do I? I don't know how to check. I have the quality set to fast. Why did it not have the fucking quality set to fast on default, motherfucker? Okay, I set it to fast. <laughs> okay. This is imperative. Have please, you guys please, done the rugged please, bridge please, 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 me when my controls just completely lag out. Uh oh. I thought you were gonna say something like me when my controls invert. <laughs> it felt like that. Okay, okay, you're fine. I got you. I'm just along for the ah, ride shoot. at this point. Save me! Okay. I don't know how I did. But you did. 
That's all that matters. My god. Uh oh. Well, it's up to you now. You can do it. I believe in you. You know what? That, yeah. That's it fair. lagged right at that moment. Again, we only die at comedic with comedic timing. Yeah, constant revival. <laughs> Bendy and the constant revival. Pastor, I bet you do a map pad impression. With what with the comments I get on my videos, I don't need to. I guess my just like default talking voice sounds like him to people. Have you ever tried? I mean, not really. Hey, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. Let's see if I can do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory! There you go. Whether the oh, no, I exited to map. Oh my god! Was that Somebody clipped that. that. Bad? Somebody, that bad? somebody, somebody clipped that. Somebody clipped that. Was that bad? <laughs> that was, like, close? Close? way too good. You think so? <laughs> Chat's freaking out about it. Was that, was that close? That's good. What? Clip that? Okay, I guess I guess I can do a good map pad impression. I really like screw like the AI generated map pad videos. I should just get you to voice them. Yeah, just hire me for it, I guess. <laughs> uh, PP four sec is too accurate, damn. I was hoping you would be ass. Like I was hoping you would be a really bad impersonation. You should you should um in in like the map pad. Uh, like, sort of, like, grungy voice to just say, Bitch, who asked? <laughs> In the map pad voice? Yeah. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let me get the... I'm focused. I'm focused right now. But I'm not focusing. Okay, I cannot save you. Alright. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot about the lobster! I'm so scared right now. Okay. I forgot how most of this run gun is. I'm on a boat now. I'm not being killed by a tiny little urchin man. Okay. Right, right. I've got to ride on this little octopus guy. And he shoots. Okay. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Sorry. What was what was the prompt? Bitch, you. Wait. Uh, wait. No. It was like, bitch. No one asked. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me let me get a sip before I do this. I always. <laughs> I always. I, I suddenly like. I suddenly get like a lot more shy once I'm like on the spot to be told to do impersonations because there's suddenly like a pressure to do better. <laughs> Normally, I'm not nervous for this kind of thing. <laughs> Bitch! Who asked? my <laughs> duplicate. That's really good. Game theory pastor is my duplicates. Um, wait. I, there, there's some I missed. There's some I missed. Um, this is imperative. Have you guys done the rugged ridge run and gun? There's so much hidden lore in that stage. It's crazy. I am insane. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for your super chat. Uh, I, 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 I saw. I kind of saw that. Uh, I saw, like, if you're talking about, like, the stuff with, like, the statues of, like, Miss Chalice, I did see that. That's I, just uh... uncanny. You guys really think it's that good? I don't think it's that good, guys. Is it really it's that really good? It's really good. I feel like y'all are just saying that. Also, Zach, I have something tragic to tell you. What's that? I'm genuinely unsure. We can try one more time, but I'm genuinely unsure if I'll even be able to play this just because of how bad it is on my end. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, you see me literally running into the creatures because my controls just, like, hold on a certain direction. And you stopped Poppy Playtime? Yeah. Stop from the song? We could try reinviting yeah. you. 
on. Ooh, ow. <laughs> is there any chance you could oh, sing eh. music, man, like nope. Mac Pat? Shit. Fuck. Why is it smoother now than it has been in the last hour? Here, you know what? Uh, since this you got game... to start, I'm gonna exit to the map. Um, you this can game leave. Likes you can try to try this game likes to make a fucking full of- No, now it's like, at least, it, like, it's it's like a good, like, 24 FPS now. Oh! What happened? It's good what? now? Look at this. Watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, 12, hey. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, It actually 20, is working uh, now. Yeah, that's so weird. Also, I got a super We're chat. Waiting, is there any chance you, you could say I'm Music waiting. Man like Matt Pat? Okay, this is the last one. This is the last one I'm doing. It's the last one I'm doing because I get embarrassed when I do this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you literally gave you literally gave me a super chat for it, so I feel like I, I feel like I've got to do this for you. Um, and let me let me get another sip here. So he says it like he says like a music man. Yeah. <laughs> music man. It's so good. There you go. There you go. Okay, now I, have a run feeling, <laughs> I have a feeling too that as you age, it's gonna become even more accurate. Don't say that! Don't say that as I get older, I'm gonna slowly transform into Matt Pat. That's horrifying. No, cause like, you sound like uh, 2012 Matt Pat right now. Uh oh. No. Like, like towards the beginning of his channel when he was a bit younger. The friggin' Matt Pat pipeline. You are you are eventually gonna turn into modern Matt Pat and start mislabeling fan games as Undertale sequels. I'm sorry. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do that. No. Accept your destiny. Like, no, I don't want this. It's not even like a. Why did I do Matt that? Pat. Oh well. Oops. It's not even like I dislike Matt Pat. I just don't wanna become him. <laughs> Petition for a DOAI film theory. Oh god. I would still <laughs> love that. Get everything Thanks. wrong. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. I could die happy now. No problem. Uh, thank you for your super chat. Um, petition for DOAI film theory. Thing is, he would get everything wrong, but I'd still really want to see it. Mainly just because I want to see more discussion about <laughs> DOAI online. Like. Petition for DOAI film theory. Like obviously, obviously, like yeah, no shit. I want to see more for it. It's like my passion project. It, it would just be cool to see more like discussion. I feel like. I feel like even if Matt Pat made like a theory that was horribly wrong, he would get more people talking about it. Oops. Matt Pat's just like that. He he, he, he kind of just like brings a lot of popularity to whatever it is he's talking about. Except it, unless it's Hello Neighbor, which like he he rightfully he rightfully and respectfully just kind of hates those games and makes fun of Tiny Build for being so desperate about him reviewing them and making theories. Which like respect the hell out of Matt Pat for like doing that. Also, respect the hell out of MatPat for, like, uh, really disliking the Poppy Playtime NFTs. Yeah, I appreciate that. People, for people, people forget that he made fun of those. I don't know how you've dragged me along this far. Well, <laughs> there you go. MatPat still labels it as an Undertale sequel. Yeah, Matt. MatPat somehow, like... Oh it's, oh, it's really bad again. Oh, God. Uh-oh. God damn. There was Poppy Playtime's NFTs, yeah? Very early into the game. Very early into the game, there was Poppy Playtime NFTs. And if you bought them, they had more clues hidden behind them. They stopped selling them because, yeah, no no surprise, everyone was upset over that. And who the hell's buying Poppy Playtime NFTs? The entire fan base is children. What children are buying NFTs? Impressionable ones. Impressionable ones who, like, live with Elon Musk? To be fair, the NFTs weren't worth that much. They were still worth more than something a child would buy. And like, why would a child be buying a JPEG online? Have you seen how like rich and entitled kids are nowadays? Yeah, but like, I'm sorry, but like, if if some kid like in high school walked up to me and showed me his Poppy Playtime NFT, I would assume that kid gets bullied a lot. 
I would be the one bullying. Me too! Like, I'm sorry, but if you're like some little kid buying NFTs, you know, sometimes bullying ain't a bad thing! Don't take that out of context, don't bully people, please. <laughs> No, like, I, I don't even, like, obviously, like, from, no, shoot. obviously from, like, an ethical standpoint, making NFTs is stupid, because NFTs in themselves are stupid, but I'll never understand the business decision of making NFTs whenever you are making a game that is primarily played oh. and enjoyed by toddlers. Like, I can't wait for my Garden of Ban Ban NFTs. I can't wait to buy my Jumbo Josh NFT. I think, if anything, they'd make an Opila NFT. They'd make friggin' NFTs of all of them. Have you, heard Ban Ban's, have you heard Ban Ban's voice? Yeah, and I don't think they could have found someone worse. To be fair, I think it is legitimately just one of the Euphoric brothers. It has to be. The game was made that fast. I don't think they would have been able to find a friggin' voice actor in the amount of time it was made. Yeah, well, I mean, they found a voice actress for Bambolina. True. I find it funny how, like... Ban Ban in that game also pulls a Sammy Lawrence. Yeah, dude, it is so, like, glaringly obvious just how much is taken from Ben, D, and Poppy. They just, they literally just, like, watch, like, a Let's Play of other mascot horror games. They're like, oh, shoot, there was this scene in Bendy and the Ink Machine that happened. Why don't we do that, but with Ban Ban and make it stupid? My remote, my remote play in and of itself just, like, uh, Frozen crashed. Oops. Uh oh. So you're not in here anymore? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you can play without me for a bit and I'll just be here commentating. Oh, just do the run and gun. I don't want to do anything else without you. Okay. It's just so aggravating, like, having to deal with that. Oh, shoot, but the thing is, in order to get this remote play working since you're using a keyboard, I'm player two. Oh no. So I guess the, the only way... Yeah, the only way for me to be able to make progress is if I played as Mugman with a keyboard, which I'm not used to. Or if I just dragged you along like this. Oh, but I can't progress a, Oh, this is gonna be so scuffed. <laughs> I need to... Oh like, no. Oh boy. Um, this is scuffed. You can also see the veto to... Oh wait, no. The I'm way far back in the stream. I, I saw the part where your Vito 2 grid showed up. What the? Oh, oh god, the controls on. Oh, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. I could I could just drop out and make player one on a controller if you want. Yeah. I'm only gonna do, I'm only gonna do stuff like the run and guns though. I'm not gonna do any of the boss fights without you. Okay. If the game if the game isn't gonna work for you, then I can just uh, do whatever run and guns are in here, and uh, then I can just end the stream. Fair enough. Does that sound is that okay with all of y'all in chat? If uh, if I just do all these run and guns single player while Lyra commentates, and uh, we just end the stream after that, we can uh, continue to like the final bosses and whatnot in the next stream. Shreknical difficulties. Okay, cool. I'll stream the game to you, Lyra. Yay! Wait a minute, where's... Why isn't Cuphead an option? It's not like I was- it's not like I was doing much anyway. Where- okay, there we go. Okay, you see the game? Yep. Okay. I don't want to do any of the bosses without Lyra. So we're just gonna do the running guns, because I mean, it's just making her and I money. Oh wait, I have- I have Lyra's weapons equipped now, that's weird. Oh wow, things die so much quicker when you're on your own. I forgot they add more health to all the, like, the enemies and whatnot for two-player. Those evil bastards. Oh, right, I have your smoke bomb, too. This is so weird. I'm not used to having your items. Ah, shit. Okay. You can also probably read chat as well if anyone asks any, like, cool questions or whatever. Real? That's a good idea. You know, people... Chat's been... Honestly, chat's been really good today. I, if, if, if I'm being real, uh, 
Like, y'all in chat today, this is probably one of my favorite chats I've had for any of my streams. Y'all are being yeah, so who chill. Brought, who brought in the A-team today? Yeah, seriously, y'all are being cool. Last Bendy stream, it was nothing but spam. Or not Bendy, uh, Cuphead stream was nothing but spam, but this one's actually just nice. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> ah, okay. When did I get hit? Oh no, because I'm playing, uh, whatever. I, want, I just won't have my extra heart charm if I'm playing as first player, but I'll manage. We try at least for today. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Did someone say money? Did someone say money? No one did, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it you a lot, did. thank you. What? You did. I did after the fact. Wait, oh, uh, random, random Calamity said, I only have one question. Did I offend Lyra? Because it might be anxi just anxiety to that. I forgot what you said. Were you the person that said I'd have a crush on Barry B. Benson? Because if so, just don't even take that seriously. I, obviously, I don't. But I wasn't mad at you for typing that. It was just a funny little joke. I'm like taking bites of food in between attempts. That, that's what I had to do for like the first part of the stream. Um, I... I'm planning on making a horror comic at some point. Oh, thank you. Thank you, S5. Oh, you do have the extra hard charm. Sick. Dude, chat is so sweet today. I know, they're so nice today. Y'all have been so interactive, and you're actually humoring the stupid hypotheticals that we're coming up with. And you've all come up with really good ideas for a potential Doors video, like, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to announce some sad news. Oh? Oh wait, so Lyra, what do you think of the Silent Hill 2 movie game situation? Ah, uh, we could have a whole talk about that, but first, mm. I will tell you my sad news. This will be the last, or at least probably the last, pastra stream you ever see where my avatar is Ramona. Wait, what? Yep. Why is that? Ramona, to, to create less confusion, is going to be a Cryptid Synapse exclusive character, and is not going to be used to represent me anymore. <laughs> so when these streams come around, I'm, out, so I'm either going to create a new persona, or just drop myself. Oh, both would be cool. Both would be very, very cool. But Romana was always meant for Cryptid Synapse, and I just kind of used her as a placeholder. Sona, I really like her, but she's meant for that project. Yeah? Hold up. Alright, and... Lyra well, just dropped that bombshell and then drop. Shoot. Lyra well, should make a Veldigan chat. Lyra well, should make a Veldigan. I'm not gonna tell her what to do if she drew herself. That'd be cool, but imagine Lyra made a Veldigan for these streams. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Should I bring that idea up to her when she comes back? I think that'd be a neat idea. What's a Veldigan? Uh, so Veldigan are my, uh, they're my little fictional species I made up. Um, Clyde's a Veldigan, Winfrey's a Veldigan, Klaus is a Veldigan. Basically all my characters other than Lankman and Mortimer that I draw frequently are like this, the, the Veldigan species that I made up. Can you hear the conversation, chat? Oh, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> I'm getting my ass whipped by these fish, by the way. What are the Veldigan guidelines? Um, so I, I, uh, I think I made a post about this before, but it's a really old one. Um, if I, if my I remember, parents tried to 
bust me. Oh? Was the, I didn't even do the shit. They were like, you complain, you bitch about your brother uh, keeping the water in the sponge all the time. They showed me the sponge. I said, guys, oh. when I did the dishes today, I didn't even use that sponge. I used the smiley one, the scrub daddy. I didn't even use that sponge. <laughs> Somebody else left water in the sponge, whoever it was. <laughs> Damn. I was saying to chat, um, you know, I have an idea for, um, I have an idea for something you could potentially do for our streams if you want to do make a new avatar. Oh? Now, of course, of course, you don't have to do this. I think the idea of, like, you making a new character yourself or, um, you know, um, drawing yourself are both awesome. But I was just saying, wouldn't it be kind of, wouldn't it be kind of fun if you made, like, a Veld again? That would be kind of fun. I think, I think that would be a kind of a fun idea. Use it for, like, specifically the streams. Big titty Veld again. Big titty Veld again. No, no, Big no, no, titty. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Somebody was asking what the guidelines for Veldigan designs were, and I was about to say that. Um, basically, I, I I try to leave I try to leave it very open, uh, because I like I like it whenever uh, people make fan made stuff and they get very creative with it. But um, basically, the the whole gist is um, I have a, the couple of like design rules I have for them. First of all, um, the most oh, got there. The most obvious one is um, I use a, a lot of stripes when designing them, usually for the limbs. Um, my, di my my entire art style can pretty much be defined by the word stripes, but Veldigan specifically all have stripes incorporated into their design somewhere. Um, usually I use a heavy amount of black in their designs. Um, you just can't really tell when it, you look at stuff like Clyde because usually um, what I define as being like the black parts of the design are like the color of the outline and I usually color all my Veldigan characters like with an outline that fits their palette. But um, Usually all of them have some kind of like aspect that's like completely like black and almost like void looking. For Clyde it's the face and the hood, for Winfrey it's the horns, um, for Jack and Klaus it's the bodies, for the flock it's the entirety of the design, and for uh, Simon it's like all the little creepy little dark bits inside of his scarecrow costume. Um, I give all the Veldigan I create yellow <laughs> eyes uh, to make them all sort of like coherent. All of them except for Simon who was purposely given purple eyes to sort of stand out. Um, and I give them all, like, to have them fit with my art style and also just to fit with how their anatomy works in my mind. Um, they all have very, like, noodly limbs that don't really work like joints, but rather kind of like... I mean, just, you see the way Clyde's arms fold. They're kind of like, you know, like, rag dolls. Um, I'm trying to think of if I have any other design rules that I had for them that I sort of designed them with. I mean, this doesn't have to do with the designs themselves, but I usually design them in sets. So, like, there's usually, like, a pair. Mm. For Clyde, I made him with a, a set with Winfrey. With the Flock, I made him a set with uh, Simon. With Jack, I made him a set with Klaus. You know, that sort of thing. Um, usually, I pick their colors based on that, too, where I have Veldigan be complementary colors to one another. But obviously, those aren't guidelines you have to follow up for to make one. If Mortimer is a then, Veldigan, then what is he? He's a, he's a guy who makes cartoons. He's a guy! He's just a little dude. He's a guy who makes cartoons. He's the cartoonist in Dreams of an Insomniac, which if you haven't They call him, him... They call him... They call him Mort for short. They call him Mort. They call him Mort. Mort. I can't move it, move it anymore. Mort, help me. I cannot move it, move it. <laughs> I'm like really struggling on this running gun, by the way. God. Yo, have any of you heard Lil Yachty's new album, Let's Start Here? Shit is awesome. Ah! Oh my god, how did I avoid him? I actually don't know how I dodged Lobster Man. There we go. Get right that time. Bam! Okay. I really should bring the chaser for this specific section so I can kill the stupid clam. Ah. I should also be parrying those. Oh, no! Okay, I got it anyway. 
Please tell me it's over soon. Ah! Oh, huh? it, was, it was over. It was so over. Zach? What? Oh, aww. What's up? You, you, you cut out for a second. I was like, oh no, please don't tell me. Ah! Ah! Uh-oh. I like the people in chat losing their mind over the fact that Mortimer and Lankman are not Beldigan. Yeah, I, I thought that was common knowledge. Also, somebody said you should do a video on Faith on Holy Tril uh, Trinity. I really want to, actually. I uh, That's another game I was saving for stream. It's a cool-ass game. Like, I haven't played it, but I've seen a lot from it. I love the art style of it. I'm all for that, like, retro horror style, and I like all the mocap stuff for it. Yeah, it's really cool. I think actually what they... I don't know what the process was, but I'm assuming it's like a rotoscoped with pixel art, which is really, really cool. I'm pretty sure it is, because I saw something like the behind the scenes for how the, like, you know, like, the base footage they use for, um, for, like, a lot of the animations in-game, and it's interesting to look at. Well, that's weird. Did you guys see the lobster just spawn in? Yeah. I wonder what it would look like if I made a mascot horror game. That... I feel like you would do it right. Oh, shit, that the <laughs> why do I keep forgetting to do the chaser for this stupid little clam dude? Oh, why did I jump? If I, if I would make a mascot horror game, it would be set in a really untraditional location that made no sense because I love hearkening back to 2011, 2012 horror games. Chaser, because I'm on good here. I think that would be really neat. Like, do you remember how there was straight up, like, uh, Slender the Eight Pages games that were set in, like, a hospice or a hospital or, like, a fucking school courtyard? Mmm, yeah. That type beat. If I ever made a mascot horror game, what do I do if I made a mascot horror game? Because you see, the thing is, right, it's so easy to say, oh, I'll just make a mascot horror game with the belt again, but like, that's, that's just dreams of insomnia. Ah. <laughs> uh. I, uh... I just thought about this for a sec. Does does mascot in mascot horror refer to a mascot suit, or just a character that could ide uh, identify as a main mascot for the game? It's just a character with a big mask. It's just a game that has a mascot that you shove on the face of every single like promotional thing for it, and you sell toys of basically. Does it have mascot to? Mascot horror, but is the neighbor like? Is the neighbor like? Does the it does it does it have to involve merch or is it just like the fact that the mascot is slapped on everything it's just the fact that the mascot is like the face of the game mascot by that is by, by that the logic the character over the game itself by that logic does do slender and does, does slender count no well slender's the mascot is it he he, he's the main villain, but you don't see Slender's face on- or Slenderman's, like, face on everything. That's fair. And also, like, there isn't really- Like, obviously, it's not, like, the one defining thing is the toys, but, like, you'd be hard-pressed to find people who were selling toys of Slenderman. Fair. Somebody in chat said Pyramid Head, and the thought of Silent Hill 2 being called a mascot horror game makes me, like, viscerally upset. To be fair, though, Pyramid Head was- one of the first iconic horror mascots, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, he absolutely was. I don't think Ma Silent Hill 2 is a mascot horror game, obviously, but god. They've made Pyramid Head into a mascot, which sucks. Wow, I hate the stupid barnacle at this part. Oh, god damn it! I'm, I'm just rushing through it now. I'm still thinking about what I would do if I made a mask on horror. I'm thinking too. 
Because you see, my style of horror that I really like is like really trippy shit with like crazy monster designs. Hmm. Like that's always been my sort of style is like, I really like the idea of like super, super like unnecessarily artsy and colorful things when it comes to horror. Either that or um, stuff that wouldn't translate well into a mascot horror type of setting with like uh, super like rural, almost like farm themes. Mm. Like my ideal style of horror game is something like uh is something like either you may Nikki or no one lives under the lighthouse. I feel like yeah. that's like one of those two is what I would make. Now I love DOAI, but I feel like I'd probably hit a mascot horror made by Pastor. Me too! I wouldn't make mascot horror. Um I, I enjoy a lot of games that are part of the genre, but I would hate making a mascot horror game because I feel like I feel like the whole philosophy of mascot horror is often design over story or like really anything else, and that is not how I would want to do it. I also just feel like most of the time the stories of um like mascot horror stuff is very <laughs> contrived and not well thought out. I mean. They keep reusing Pyramid Head long after he's no longer yeah. relevant to their protagonist. Pretty strange. God, I'm really deep in thought about what I would do if I made one. Hold on. I know, I'm thinking about uh, it Ah, shit. They keep reusing Pyramid Head uh, long after he's no longer relevant to the protagonist. Pretty sure it counts. Internet thirst aside. I mean, yeah, if you consider it, I won't. I, I, I don't blame you. Somebody from Elkgrove is calling me. Hold on. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I know, like, a lot of- a lot of the Veldigan designs were originally, like, just, you know, fun little designs I threw together, but literally when I started working on DOAI lore, I changed their designs pretty drastically to fit some kind of, like, story theme. Which I remember for a bit, whenever I was doing that, some people were like, Why are you doing that? That doesn't make any sense. Why is Winfrey more blue? So, my god, I am doing so bad at this run and gun. I'm so sorry for this ass gameplay. I'm so focused on other things. Because, like, I have, I have ideas for other horror projects, that's the thing, right? I have ideas for horror projects that are in Dreams of an Insomniac, that I would love to work on after Dreams of an Insomniac is over, however long that is. But the thing is, none of them would work well for mascot horror. None of them would. Because all of them usually have to do with some kind of, like, super, like, surreal psychedelic storyline that, like... <laughs> is meant to like really confuse you and be like super thought provoking and leave everything up to interpretation. Cause like, I feel like my style of storytelling that I really like is having like some kind of concrete answer and having everything planned out, but leave, leave a lot of it up to like subjectivity. Because I like the idea of seeing people's interpretations of like the same thing, almost like an art piece. And I, just, I, I don't know if that bodes well for, for something like Mascot Horror, because most of the time I feel like Mascot Horror is trying to be super secretive about its lore, but it's also super, like, straightforward and linear. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Ablier. Always mess up on that stupid jump. Ugh. Can a Velda can have two heads? If you want them to. Basically what I described is what, like, even, even some of the things I described don't have to be there, but like, you know, the only the only real rules I have are what I described. Anything else is up is up in the air. You can just go for it. Why? There we go. And I got hit anyway. This run and gun Ooh, gun is hard. I just had an idea for a mascot horror. Oh? Guys, nobody steal this idea or I'll, like, I don't know, cry really, really loudly. Um, I had an, an idea for a mascot horror where you're traveling around and, uh, you have, like, a, a camcorder with you and you're, like, recording everything that's happening as you're going through this place, and there's two monsters after you. One, 
thrives in the dark and and hates light, the other is constantly approaching you. Um, and basically the way that you ward them off is the camcorder uh, has a flashlight on it when it's recording that, that turns on when you actually press the, the rec button. And the other one, you have to, to actually impede its progress, you have to go to the camcorder's VCR mode and physically rewind the tape that you're recording to set it back. Oh, that's a cool idea. But the thing is, when you switch to VCR mode, the flashlight isn't on. Which means that the other monster has an opportunity to get you, so it's constantly balancing between trying to ward the two off as you're traveling through this place. Okay, that's actually really neat. No, I feel like that's no, a really creative idea. Cute Chibi Peanut, that's not just FNAF 2. You... Wait, what? That's not FNAF 2 in the slightest! <laughs> Literally nothing about what she just said was FNAF 2! With, with having to flash Foxy but manage everybody else. I... <sighs> Resource management is FNAF 2's thing now, I guess. Like, FNAF 2 did not invent that. Oh my god, I am struggling. Ooh, somebody somebody said a cool name for that kind of game would be like After Image. Ooh. That's a cool one. I feel like if I ever made a horror game, I'd make one that was like... I'd make a 3D one with pixelated graphics. Ooh, yeah. Because those are my favorites. I loved it when Spookies did it. I love, um, I love its skills for like the sort of pixelated style, although that's just kind of low-poly models. Um, yeah. I'm still thinking about what the hell I'd make if I made a mascot horror. Like, like, there's no idea I come up with that has already. Cocaine bear. See, I had an idea for, um, I had an idea for what I would do if Dreams of an Insomniac was a game at one point, because I had to, um, during, uh, whenever I was trying to get into the, uh, art college I was going into, um, before I ended up dropping out of it, um, one of the things they had us do for our, like, uh, portfolios for it was to create the idea for a game, um, to show that, you know, we have a good understanding of, like, the course we're getting into. Or at least a decent one. And, um, I remember, originally, I had come up with an idea for if I had made Dreams of an Insomniac a game instead of a YouTube series. Um... And the idea for the game was basically that you were like, it was like a point and click style, um, it was like a point and click style game where it was, um, it was pixelated, like I said before, and, um, it was a puzzle horror game where essentially the whole thing was that you were traveling through people's memories and, um, in order to, in order to like, you know, in order to essentially, like, regain their memories, you had to solve puzzles in the area to find out who the person was. And you could then move on to the next room that you would be trapped in if you were able to, like, help that person remember who they were. And the whole thing would be that you'd be in this room trying to solve the puzzles, and in every single area there would be a new monster that would be trying to get you. So you'd have to learn their mechanics as well as learn the uh, aspects of the puzzle. But the thing that would make it really hard, and that would stop you from just sitting there until you learn the monster's mechanics, is that, um, one of the Veldigan, which at the time I thought would be Winfrey, was essentially constantly pursuing you and trying to come through a door behind you. And he was essentially like a time limit, where the longer you took to solve the puzzle, the closer he would get. You'd hear him, like, getting closer and closer to the room and, like, stomping. And eventually you'd see, like, the doors opening, and eventually you'd see, like, tentacles starting to encompass the room, and then eventually you would die. So it was like the whole idea of like, there was like the resource management type of survival while trying to solve like a puzzle in each area, but you also had a time limit where if you took too long, Winfrey would eventually break in and reset you. 
and kill you. E I can't equip Chaser. I have I don't have Chaser, and I'm literally playing the run and gun to get money. Yeah, that was the idea I had. Um, I'd probably translate that into a mascot horn some way and replace the Veldigan with um, like some other th other thing. Jumbo Josh. Don't ever insult me like that again. <laughs> Wait. I know how to make you angry enough to beat this level. What are you gonna say to me? Jumbo Josh is just the mascot horror version of Winfrey. Lara, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go, 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 Why go. Why would you go, say go, that? Go, what do you go, mean? Go, 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 go. You, wait, go, explain go. your thought process. What does that mean? Go, 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 go. Stop saying go, 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 go explain go. what you mean by that. Go, 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 go. Why are that doesn't make sense? <laughs> go, 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 go. But see, you're playing better, aren't you? Aw. No, now I'm just dead and angry. Okay, we'll re restart. Explain your thought processes. Is it because he's big? I, d I didn't actually mean it. I just wanted to make you mad. Every joke has a little bit of truth, Lyra. It didn't. I don't trust you. You don't trust me? I don't trust you on that claim. Jumbo Josh well. is the bam 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 what about monsters under the bed to your memory point and click game? So you all beat this cuphead up to the mass and I'll die and I'll die! What about monsters under the bed for your memory point and click? What about monsters under the bed for your memory point and click? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh no, this is the base breaker for Tweet. Don't, don't worry, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit. <laughs> It's a bit, it's a bit. <laughs> I have to think of, like, if I went with that idea, right, where you're, like, trapped in these rooms that are supposed to be people's memories. <laughs> what would I... Oh, I know Thanks what I would do. I know what I would do. Really appreciate oh, yeah, yeah. I'll let the super chat play. I'll let the super chat play. Um... Thanks for my analog horror idea. Um, I just finished all of the outside footage. Really appreciate you fellas for the boost. Yeah, no problem at all. It's a really cool idea. Okay. Imagine this, right? Big brain. Imagine. Um, imagine the whole thing. The whole idea of these memories and whatnot. The entire game took place in an art gallery. And the monsters in each area, like the people who you were like uh, trying to like take the memories of, were artists. And the monsters <laughs> in each room that were chasing you was it like a living version of their artwork. That's cool. It was like a living art piece. And whatever like the big monster was that would like pursue you between every single room, that is like maybe your character is some kind of like artist yourself. And that thing is something you made. That's so cool. That, that, I think that's what I would do. Also, Zach, it's funny, because right as you got your revelation, I got mine too. You know what I would do with with that silly mascot horror game idea? What's that? Do you remember Onero by any chance? Rings a bell. That, that one character I accidentally happened upon while traveling the seas of the latent space. Right! Right! The one that you... Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. I know what you're talking and about I would, now. I would set it basically on, on desolate, like... Not... Not like traditional post-apocalyptic Earth, but an Earth that's experienced an event so cataclysmic that it basically looks like a different planet now. And Onira would be, uh, like, sort of traveling the, the remnants of, like, a some sort of, um, 
it would basically be like a factory facility almost, but it would be ancient and, and rusted and, and worn down, and it would go underground uh, through these like different subterranean levels, and it would be like super atmospheric and dark. That would be really fucking cool. God damn, that's uh, if I make like a little mini mascot horror game between Analog and the next big project, which I already have kind of in my head. I would love to make Onero as a as a little mascot horror game. Somebody in chat suggested a title for mine be Lost in the Paint, and I find that to be a really fun title, actually. Ooh. Just, I literally keep getting to the stupid final section with the octopus and dying to the shrimp because I don't have the chaser and I... I, I Wait, is that? Yeah? You know what would be a perfect name for that game? What's that? Gallery. Actually, yeah, what? Stupid shrimp. <laughs> Fucking shrimp. <laughs> Lost in the sauce. Shrimp heaven. I think this- I think this running gun is gonna be the last thing I do, because I wasn't expecting to struggle on it so much. Um, I think it's gonna be the last thing I do for the stream before we, uh, before we end it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna force AJ to listen to Humans by Gorillaz. Woohoo! And then I'm gonna actually figure out what I'm gonna do after this. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I'm telling him right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, get the coin. There's that, there's that. Bam, bam, okay. Jump on the squid's head, that's an octopus probably. He looks funny. Oh, and... okay, I somehow live. Uh, somebody said, Lyra, have you heard Gorilla's Latin Simone? Yes, it's a really amazing song. <laughs> How am I alive right now? Cool, cool, funny man, awesome EP. Oh my god, Lay, let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, let's it's go. finally over. It's finally over. Somebody, wait. Lyra Horrors just super chatted. Past respect, cool, cool, funny man, awesome, yippee. <laughs> was that you or was that, that someone else? That's, that was me. <laughs> okay, Lyra, okay. Oh my god, okay. Uh, let's see. Emily Gorbor, you peaked with radical raptors. Why? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, yeah, I read, I read that one already. Okay, so let me see what we have left. I just donated to myself, basically. I was gonna say, what was the point of that? We literally, we literally split chat revenue from this. I, I just thought it would be funny. Real quick, I'm also gonna do the mausoleum since that was like the, the, the thing I said I was gonna do last. Okay. All right, let's do that. I can't wait to use this track in uh, some of my videos. Cause I've got yeah. it in my little like I've got it in my YouTube video playlist. Have I heard uh, Melancholia from Caravan Palace? No, I have not. Somebody, somebody said, wait, they split the money from stream. Dot dot dot. What? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I thought my money was going to Pastra Spec. And Pastra Spec alone. I don't want my money going to this broad. She's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> my god, Lyra. 
<laughs> no! How did you die? You spin me! You spin me! No, that's not what I meant! <laughs> Opinion on Moments. Moments is a great song. Oh damn, I missed the berry. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Tiny old man. Spin. Spin. Do I have a favorite? Do I have a favorite song from Humans? Um, I have a couple. Charger, definitely. Um, Saturn's bars is is another one. She is my color. Hallelujah, money. Everybody else hates that song. I love Hallelujah, money. It's really haunting and tender and. And strange in, in such a profound way. All right, well there we go. We got our last super now. So yeah, um, I'm gonna read off these super chats, see what chat's saying, and uh, yeah, we're gonna end it for now. Um, Ooh, Lyra, what Godzilla is your favorite? Mine is Shin Godzilla. <laughs> well, you have fantastic you. taste because Shin Godzilla is one of my favorites too. I'd have to say my favorites are Shin 1954 um, and. Uh, I would honestly have to say, I don't know if you've watched Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex, but the design in that is one of my absolute favorites of all time. Got a super chat, a twenty dollars super chat from Rabbit Fifteen that just says "Yippee!" Thank you very much. Um, yeah, uh, that's that's gonna be all uh, from Cuphead for today. Um, so yeah, um, it looks like, seeing as you guys uh, seem to be interested in it. Um, next stream on here, uh, in between this and the next Cuphead stream, is going to be Doors with Lyra, because you haven't played Doors, y'all seem very, uh, enthusiastic about Doors, I want an excuse to play more Doors, um, so I think that's what we're gonna do next, and then we're gonna continue, <laughs> um, then we're gonna continue on Cuphead. So, um, yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who decided to come by today. Uh, this has been a really good stream. Yeah. Like I said, y'all and y'all and chat was, were wonderful today. It was chill. It'd be a bit better if if everything wasn't dying for me constantly. But <laughs> you no, know. you know what? It still works out. Um, still yeah. works out. It's fine. Right, right, the Discord. The Discord. Thank you for reminding the me. Discord. Um, those of you who wanted to join the Discord. Right, um, said, "Our right, we got mascot one free a platoon three match that I was in got disconnected." Like the second the words left her mouth. That's because Lyra's words there were so cursed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your five dollar super chat means a lot. Um, to those of you oh, who yeah, want to join the Discord, those Sorry. of you who to join the Discord, um, who were patient enough to wait till the end of the stream, um, and this is gonna be a bit of a shameless plug here, but this is how I did it. If you want to join the Discord server, there is a link to it in the description of my Bendy and the Ink Machine video. Um, it should still function. It, I made it a permanent link to it. So if you want to drop by the Discord server, um. It's pretty chill there. People people are really nice. So, um, absolutely, feel free to go to that video, check the description, and join if you were curious about that. Um, Appreciated the stream. Uh, hope you're feeling better from the last one, Lyra. Thank you very much, Bree. Uh, Bree says they hope you're feeling better from the last one, Lyra. I definitely am. It's a bit concerning with the whole thing that's happening with my eye, but my cough is at least better now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's good, at least. Yeah, um, thank you all so much for coming by. Uh, hope you're excited for uh, whatever we've got coming up next. Whether that be the door stream or probably, probably just, I'm probably gonna release another video before the door stream, so y'all will see that. Um, yeah, you've all been, you've all been wonderful. It's been a good time. Um, Lyra, do you have any closing thoughts before I end the stream? Um, well, you guys are awesome, and thank you so much for all of your donations. You're all super cool and swag money, and uh, you all have a fantastic day. And listen to 
the record Plastic Beach by Gorillaz. It just turned 13 years old. <gasps> all right, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been fun. I will see you all in whatever my next project or stream or whatever ends up being. And as I always say in my videos, 